I had to literally just explain to my mom the other day that I don't smoke weed because I'm an addict. <laughs> I smoke weed because it's like <laughs> stimulating for me. <laughs> and she was really looking That's at how, me. You told really your African to, mother this? I told my African mother this. Okay, Burner Boy, how you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, so he had the video smoking with his mom. Off high tonight. <laughs> he had the video smoking with his mom, yes. and everyone's like, if you're yeah. smoking with an African parent, Yo, we, gotta start, you, we gotta start it. normalizing this stuff, man. I mean, you right. I feel like, I, honestly, I don't know too many people. Well, yeah. I mean, well, I know African women, but I don't know too many African dudes, but I do feel like yeah. Ar- African like parents are like becoming much more like uh, progressive. Progressive, like progressive that. is the best word. Yeah, you right. upset your yeah. African parent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like if you gay, they won't like disown you anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's like, different. No, yeah, yeah. I'm right. yeah, about yeah, to it's say it's definitely yeah. seems. It's like, taking a lot for us to if get you're here. You're gay, they won't disown you. <laughs> I mean, the it, bar you want me to really tell you what they will do to you? Huh? <laughs> let me let me explain it for you, huh? When you are a baby, huh? They will be asking you, do you want to be a doctor, engineer? How can or a I, lawyer. Or a lawyer. Or a yeah. lawyer. Bro, the how immigrant... do I know what to do at eight Dog, years old? Im- right. I'm eight, bro. <laughs> I don't Im- know what I want to be. I want to go outside and play with your friends. Oh, no, that is the devil. <laughs> Why will you go outside? Go and read your book. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, but how many books can I read? I got ice in my veins. Walk like a champion, champion, champion. I'm so cold-blooded. I fear nobody. Ain't no letting down. I won't let you down. Cause I got ice in my veins. One question that I did have though, but this is like not related to like not anything good. in the in the thing. So like how so like all right, so yeah. a connection between us three is that we all went to temple. We all was like yeah. hooping hooping on the court together. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. shit. Like oh, how yeah. did how did how did like you and your people like get, you know, in the mix? So Savon, I met um, in college. Okay. So we was in the same uh, program. We was in the broadcasting and journalism department. Uh, okay. Program. But the thing is, though, he got two years on me. So mm. I'm 24. Yeah. He's 26. Mm. Okay. So when he's a senior, I'm in my second mm. year. So mind you, we don't got class together, so but we keep seeing color, each other. Also. Yeah. And we're doing like right, projects in the color, department okay. where it's getting recognized, right? For sure, for so sure. like I did a project in this yeah. class and the right. professor's right. talking about another one. Mm. You know, I like exactly. how Alex is doing this and they was talking about him back and forth. So we didn't even meet each other yet, but niggas is trying to pair us together type shit. So we finally fucked around and did a project for him on his senior year. We did like a Drake review. Okay. Thank you, man. Put it up on SoundCloud, bro. We did like 10,000 listens. Really? Wow. Green. Swear to God. He did like 10,000 listens. Just me and him going back and forth talking about the album. Wow. We were disagreeing, of course, but I guess that's what made us. That's what I mean. That's 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 where the best best, conversation comes from. That's the best conversation, right? Right. So then from there, like, I guess we kind of got cool. Bro. Fast forward to like five months later, I, he he goes into the work field. Mm-hmm. Nothing happens. He's working with Joe Budden now. Yeah. He's not really doing the podcasting thing. Okay, cool. I'm about to graduate now. He's like, yo, bro, I want to revamp this podcast I had started while I was back in school, but it didn't take off. The podcast, the Need to Know podcast, was that has been active since like 2015, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. He was doing it with niggas that just wasn't in it. You know how like all three yeah. of you guys were in it? You guys are involved. You guys are people who was like, oh, you got something? I'll like help out a day or something like that. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? He had the type of people where like mm-hmm. they would be recording and talking about a conversation and they'd be in their phone or they'd be on Instagram. Yeah. Hmm. So he just, hmm. he just, he just, chill, JT, did I, JT, did I should have, <laughs> JT, my fault, bro. I didn't know. It's okay. No, <laughs> I, 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 I nah. own that. That's, that's part of my brand. <laughs> that's on that's brand. <laughs> You're right. That's all brand for just, 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 just on his phone, bro. Damn phone. See what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. That makes sense. That makes sense. So then after a while, we we started it. After, right after I graduated, we started, and we're like, yo, if we really kind of want this to go in a certain direction for what the topics we're discussing, mm-hmm. because you guys are men, yeah. it makes sense to discuss sports, right? The topics we was getting into was like, yo, we're going to need a, like, a woman, like, a to female kinda, perspective. A female yeah, perspective right, exactly. to kind of, like... Like the prosthetic testicle yeah. episode. <laughs> That's a fact. Okay. Hey. <laughs> you might not know about that one. I don't know about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, gotta, I don't know. That's a, that I got to get into that, that one. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was quite an episode. That was an episode. Yeah, give me the number well, on we, that. We, had to, <laughs> we, we called, we call, we had Miles call someone to get a female perspective. <laughs> yeah, we, I don't yeah, blame ba- you. Basically, because yeah. we, was, we was all confused. We was like, nah, yeah. we need to get, yeah, right. right, right. <laughs> Valuable insight. So then, like, <laughs> after, like, three episodes in, when we realized we wanted that female perspective, we mm-hmm. had a videographer at the time who was, he's been, like, in a circuit in the media and shit. So okay. he's known about different types of people. He's known Steph for a while now. He, like, recorded some shit for her back in the day. Yeah. She, bro, I swear to God, we've never met her in our, in our lives, bro. Literally was like, yo, bro, I think this might work for y'all. She pulls up, bro. We do two episodes. We never look back. 
Fast forward, we don't even fuck with the videographer anymore. We kept stuff. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> so so yeah, that's what that's what that happens, man. Yeah, yeah. Cold it's, world. It's, it's just, that's what it's, it's just it is what it is. But yeah, that's kind of how that came came together. I swear it was God because I don't know. Yeah, that's a ble- that's a blessing. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, I feel you. That was a very on yeah. topic question. question yeah. <laughs> I, all right. Well, no, 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 no. Well, I'm saying. Well, okay. I'm saying like right. this is not for the pot. Well, it might be for the pot. Yeah, it might. It might make. That was make a very good answer. It okay. sounded yeah. like a pot. That's a pot how, I was like, we're recording. Oh, I thought we were recording. What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 56 of the Sorry Toby Sports Pod. We're here, regrowing recording as always, and I have my guys with me. To my left. Just on his damn phone, as usual. Justin Thomas. He's doing it on purpose now. Yeah, he has to be. Actually, yeah. I... No. Uh, no. <laughs> Most of the times, I'm not even thinking. I'm just like, all right, they're not paying so attention. So what you're saying is you deadass just pay us no minds. So you don't even know what I'm like starting. James Harden on offense. I'm just going to sit there until you guys pass me the ball. Then I'll actually turn up. <laughs> oh, my God. God. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bar right there. To my far right, we have... The deacon of demon time, the the vice president of the Knicks, Mr. Worldwide West himself. Lisa Anna for president. <laughs> yes. How you doing, guys? How y'all doing? Hope y'all had a good week and y'all staying safe out here on these streets. You already know this. We got the Saratobi sound man, Mr. Matt, keeping us able to sound velvety <laughs> and bless your eardrums. <laughs> I'm out here. <laughs> and uh, as you see, to my direct right, we have a guest this week. We have a fellow podcaster, content creator. You may also know him as Screen Man. You know, whatever you want to call him from the Need to Know podcast, Mr. Alex. Yo, Mutu. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm just happy to be here. I've been wanting to do this for a minute with y'all. Hey, know? man, I'm glad to have you, yeah. man. What's yes, up, sir? We got Cause, you. Because, know, you know, we talk about a lot of different topics on my shit. Yeah. But we don't talk about sports. So I'm, I'm glad I could come into this realm and kind of politic with y'all because you guys definitely get off. <laughs> yeah, we, de- we definitely do. We haven't we haven't gone crazy yet. I think the last nah, time... Nah, y'all yeah. was... Are you kidding? Episode 50 off the Bob on Cool where y'all was screaming yeah, out of nowhere? Well, aside from the Jamal Adams episode, we haven't really... Yeah, yeah we haven't gotten... Chill. Yeah, we haven't gotten like crazy, crazy Let's in a while. Let's get back but, to it today. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, it might, it, it might happen. You know, we gotta... We, we, gotta, we gotta test the voice. That was six know. episodes ago. That wasn't that long, yo. Six episodes I mean, that's six is, weeks. That's... Yeah, this episode like, is in July. We're right. basically in September. That's you know. No, no, no we're, we in September. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All I'm saying is, y'all say, "Oh, we haven't got crazy." Like me and Matt wasn't out here. Like, what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. like, it felt it's it felt like a month since last Sunday. So six weeks ago feels like that's an fair, eternity. That's fair. That's <laughs> sense. So, uh, Alex, man, what's going on? What, what's going on in your life? How, how's everything? Oh uh, man, I'm I'm doing all right, bro. Uh, life is good <laughs> for the most part. Uh, like I said, y'all, you, y'all might know me from my podcast, or y'all might know me from listening to Joe Budden podcast, mm-hmm. screaming over there. But um, yeah, like I said, I just I just like getting away from that realm, man. Like I've been trying to do this for a little bit. Mm. I want to talk basketball. I tweet a lot about basketball, mm-hmm. but I think that's my only place to kind of get off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like I don't get screaming enough. into the Twitter void and hope people listen. <laughs> I'm just hoping. Right, right, JT. Hey, man, look, it's fun. I enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy it. You yeah. play ball, right? Yeah, I also played ball in high school. That's a fact. Up until high school, though. Then when you get to college, you realize, oh, not good enough, not tall enough. <laughs> that's a fact. Man, Let's people, figure it the fuck out. Yeah, that's people, a fact, man. Listen, <laughs> people are serious about these hoop dreams. Man, yeah. <laughs> that's a fact, bro. But I know a few yeah. red court legends. You know what I'm saying? Just in transition. I mean, listen, that didn't come from here. Yeah, Believe facts. it or not. That, that, yeah, listen, man. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a fact, man. Listen, I, you know, that's where I, that's where I met this guy on the, on the, on the red court. You guys man. used to run at Temple together. We used to play against each other. For and I used to long. work with you at Adidas. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you were going to Temple at the time. You were telling mm-hmm. me, like, yo, I got boys to do an open gym along with playing volleyball. These are dudes you was playing with. Yeah, bro. Some of them, yeah. Ball, yeah. We was, this is it. Literally wow, playing crazy, against man. these guys. You played like, against them so much. Literally, though, the entire year almost. Yeah. Our freshman oh, wow. year. And then, like, yeah, the yeah. last, like, month of, the, of school, it was like, yo. You want to hang out? Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. We were like, like, playing yeah. against him almost every day. So wow. I was like, all right, now we're running fives. Wow. It only him made sense boy. to do a podcast. The thing was, though, when we saw him, we thought he was a high schooler visiting. Just to find out <laughs> this dude's true. older than us. Yeah. JT, the slit. Wait, you're older than us? I'm 25. All right. I see. <laughs> he was a grade above us. And we was out here like, hey, man, listen. Huh? Like, like, black don't crack. My so, man, he got the Benjamin Button. That's, right, you that's remember like the video? The video of me doing the commentary that you saw earlier? That's how I looked. Wow. When they probably met me. Yeah, not nah, that has no face, no facial hair, nothing like nah, that. That's good. You they saw that in a shooting, in a shooting yeah. sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> with the shoot with the shooting sleeve. Oh man, he had a snapback. He didn't have the fitted joint though. That's true. Yeah. And like and no muscle too. That yeah, was before yeah, I started yeah. working. That out. was before you started. <laughs> that was before you started working. So about hundred and like 
35 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, but enough about enough about us. Why, <laughs> tell us some more about the need to know. Like, what do, do the people need to know about the need to know? You know what I'm saying? Double on Andre, I see you. Hexy, hexy. Hey. I'm, I'm liking hey, the soundboard. Hey, hey, hey. yeah. The soundboard is tough. We don't get to that later, later <laughs> on. But go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, on the need to know podcast, man, you know what? I think, like, as millennials over there, we try to, like, translate things into terms as to where we're regular people can actually give a fuck about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, let me break that down, right? Like, of course, you're going to get headlines about Kim Kardashian, Jay Z's, and mm-hmm. Beyonce's, and whatever. Jamaican Adele. Jamaican Adele. <laughs> Lisa Anna. <laughs> Chet Hanks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're always going to get these headlines all throughout yeah. the week in your phone, right? right? But I think what we try to do is we try to make it seem like, all right, where can you relate as a normal person? into the situation that's been announced as a topic, mm-hmm. right? right? So I think that's really what we try to do there. You know, we also have a woman's perspective with our homegirl, Steph. Mm-hmm. Um, so we really try to make it, you know, as a, like a therapy session, but with a lot mm. of jokes. Nice. But Josh. with a lot of jokes. We can relate to the jokes. <laughs> yeah. We can relate to the jokes. <laughs> hey, man, if we're not cutting on you, we don't really fuck with you like that. That's a fact. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if I'm not clowning on you, do I fuck with you? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the bulk of what we do over there. Um, we, we started for... Uh, 2018, we've been doing it for about two years now. Right. Amen. We, we've, it's been a lot of growth, so yeah. yeah. Love my guys. Uh, shout out to Save On and Steph, by the way. Mm. Oh, big, hey, facts, man. big facts, big facts. Yeah, I mean, and it's it's dope having other podcasters on. I feel like because you know it's like we're 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 all we're in this together. You know, it's all yeah. a little community. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like sure. we tell us our people about y'all. Y'all tell mm-hmm. uh, y'all people about us. It's like you know, especially minority podcasters. Yeah, I'm about yeah, to, yeah, I'm about to say that is that is absolutely key. 100%. You know, black minority podcast matter. Yeah, yeah. no, it really does. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, let Get me try. Pick it. Yeah, BPM. Yeah. <laughs> listen, man, <laughs> listen, they making bumper yeah. stickers for anything now. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you know, why not? Why, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. But I always want to kind of do things like this because, like you said, we're podcasters, and I feel like mm-hmm. we should never stop. It doesn't matter if your podcast is on Joe Budden's network. It doesn't matter if your podcast started yesterday. Like, mm-hmm. the more podcasts you do, the better you get, and the more, you know, crowds you reach. So, mm-hmm. I love this shit. So, what's what's that been like, like, working with Joe and whatnot? Like, mm-hmm. how's that been for you? And, like, what, what have you been learning? <laughs> oh, man. Um, I've learned a lot. You know, it's, you know what's funny? Like, I'll tell this story really quickly. I f- you know how they say like manifestation, mm-hmm. and if you know, the, you know, speaking women, into existence, you know, women mm-hmm. love getting that off, right? Like, come on, come on, the vision sis. boards and everything. You know, like, <laughs> the, the vision, vision boards. boards. You got to manifest what you want, sis. Shout out to all the ladies because you know what? They're, they're very right. My high school, I mean, my senior year in high school, right? Where, where they're asking you for yearbook quotes. Mm-hmm. Mind you, at the time, like I'm, I'm, I'm a Joe Budden fan, right? Mm-hmm. But you know, of course, you know, slaughterhouse like, days, yeah, slaughterhouse <laughs> days, right? But Big like, facts. you know, we're still like young, right? So we still yeah. like Drakes and the Kendricks and the J Coles and the Wale's. So, <laughs> okay, we're laughing. No, no, no. I'm just oh. thinking about um, uh-huh. the shit from uh, Joe's live where like Drake was in the comments. <laughs> and he was just at like his pool party, yeah. And there's I heard like, yo, you need to reset your router. And Drake, <laughs> he goes like, yo, play Pump It Up. They're gonna go crazy. <laughs> so him. Straight going him. No, he said play Tiger, Lime in the Coconut. Crowd gonna go wild. This shit cry. <laughs> yo, Drake, funny as shit for that. Son. Oh my god. Yeah, but um, fuck, what was I talking about? I was talking about um, um so your high yearbook, school, yearbook. high school yearbook. yearbook. Yes, thank you. So like, literally, I, the the quote I submitted was it was a Joe Budden quote. Mm. The quote read, "If you wasn't there for the ride, don't be there when I park." Like none of my friends got it. Even to this day, I swear to God, I swear I don't know how where I came to the conclusion with that shit. You know, fast forward three, four years later, and I'm literally, you know, working for this guy and helping mm-hmm. him with his podcast. So it's been dope. And in terms of what I've learned, bro, like a lot of behind the scenes shit that they don't teach you or they don't show you. You know, so a lot of the business shit, mm-hmm. but a lot of the things that you need as a man too to take forward with you and understand certain things, what to respond to, what not to respond to, what to look out for as a podcaster, you know, mm-hmm. certain things that help your podcast, what you should look at. What you shouldn't look out for. Because, you know, sometimes as creators, a lot of the times, we feel like we're pretty hard-headed, mm-hmm. right? It's like, no, I think this, this is, is going to This is my vision. This is my yeah, vision. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm hell-bent on this. Right. Fuck you. It's 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 really good to hear somebody's um input on it, mm-hmm. especially when, you know, it seems to be working for him. So right. I, I've definitely learned a lot. Being in that camp with those fellas has, has been good. Those are a, a dope uh, group of fellas. Can't lie to you. Nice. Um, mm-hmm. What is... Uh, is there is there a side to Joe that we don't know, or is Joe is what you see is what you get? Like, what is that? I feel like Joe got to be a thorough ass nigga, bro. Like, hey, like, yeah. like, 
go ahead, go ahead. No, yeah, I, you just literally took it out. Yeah. And, you know, because it's easy to kind of like run with the clips of him being irate or yelling. Yeah, of or, course. Yeah. But you know, I, I'm glad I have people with brains in this room. He's also <laughs> a middle aged black man, so I mean, you know, it is right. Like, you, know, so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, a lot of the times, I mean, and I can relate to this the most. I think that's why I kind of like fuck with the guy a lot. A lot of that shit is just passion, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I am feeling what I'm feeling in the moment. I, that doesn't mean I'm lying or I'm being deceptive, but after I'm done feeling what I'm feeling, all right, I'm good. Yeah. I want to laugh. I want to crack jokes. So. I mean, shit, we had these <laughs> yeah. two fucking screaming at each other. So, you know, I mean, the, pa- the passion is there. The passion is, but what yeah. you guys have done recording is dapping you up. Yeah. Later, yeah. brother. You know what I'm saying? And That's I've definitely fact. seen that a lot from him. So definitely one of the one of the most thorough individuals I've met. He's dead ass helped us a lot. I can't lie. Yeah. So, man. It's, definitely, it's definitely important, I think, to... um get out that passion like and after the after you get that out it's like hanging out hanging out with your people and like you know being cool with them after the fact cuz it's like yeah. yo like we be chilling like after the pod just chilling whatever it, it's you know my saying? guy Jimmy Butler in the heat That's he was right. like i'm gonna cuss someone out they're gonna cuss me out and then and, and then, then we, we go be, we, we, yeah, and, and, then, and we go eat That's a cheesesteak after like you know we chilling it's all good it's just it's just like this generation can't like separate the two it's really weird mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. I, you know i don't know cuz it may look like you know if you show that side of yourself and then you calm down now it looks like oh you're being you're not being you're being disingenuous mm-hmm. right you know what i'm saying when really i'm just being i was in a moment i was in a moment yeah. i was living in that moment i was here i brought it back and down and now i'm here cool. yeah. yeah exactly which is life you know moment to exactly. moment exactly but yes you can agree you can disagree with somebody but. and still find a way to be you know cordial or like you know friends mm-hmm. friends after the fact it's unless just, you're it's racist just, yeah well, unless you're racist <laughs> then yes. it's a no no yes good point right. bro indeed <laughs> good point yeah. yes you got to be you know it's all it's all good to disagree yeah so mm-hmm. exactly Oh, man. <laughs> I would, you know, uh, all right. So, uh, all right, all right, oh my God. I, was, yeah. I knew you were about to say something and I, I was just waiting. <laughs> all right. So, like, all right. So, you talk about, like, yeah. you know, like how Joe, like, kind of takes things stride. W- I've always wondered, like, when you're working with, like, a personality like that that's in the public setting and, like, mm-hmm. we've seen, like, you know, the videos of, like, Joe and, I guess, like, not the, not to say not the best situations, but just, like, yeah. being, I guess, the butt having, of the joke. Having moments. Yeah. yeah. Uh, being, like, the butt <laughs> of the joke, right? Like, how, like, is is he someone that just like kind of laughs those things off? Like I think the the only one that kind of comes to mind right now with the uh, the video of him chasing the kids, chasing the kids in the yeah. car. Like is he someone that just like kind of like we don't talk about it, or is he just kind of like laughs it off? Like ah yeah, like I was kind of wilding back then. Listen, from what I've been around, I've probably been with him for about a year, oh, maybe one, one, a year and a half coming soon. Man, Joe is happy right now, guys. Like yeah. <laughs> he is very very happy. Like, a lot of the nice. things that you guys yeah. that people may think that bothers the shot of him. Like you said, he really laughs it off. And mm-hmm. I see it in real time. Yeah. He's in a very, very good place right now. And I think, you know, maybe he wasn't in that types of places before. So maybe mm. he reacted to certain things mm-hmm. differently. Maybe, you know, again, I'm not Joe. But he's, I can, I can confirm, he is definitely in a good place right now. So. We love that. Man. Yeah, love to hear it, man. We love the black boy joy. Love it, love it. <laughs> <laughs> he exudes it. <laughs> hey, I heard cut, he was yeah. cutting on you. The Instagram story, I see that shit. Oh, he was kind of, he was <laughs> no, Black Lives Matter had me weak. Wait, Savon wait. came with this shit. Yeah. So basically, I was in the kitchen. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Gallo. My boy Gallo started this uh, clothing brand. It's called like Fuge Worldwide or whatever. Yeah. Gallo from Adidas? Yes. Oh my oh, God. You know yeah. Gallo. What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah. Hey, everybody everybody working work Adidas and Baldwin? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Baldwin, bro. Bro, I, literally, oh, if, 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 oh, if, yeah. if you didn't work yeah. at Adidas and Roosevelt Field, you corny, bro. You were talking about you <laughs> you like, what it was, right? Yeah. I did. Yeah. Because Miles, you also worked at Adidas before I got. Hey, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like lo- on the on the super low key. You know what I'm saying? It's like a rite of passage, honestly. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm about to say it's like hey, man, yeah, that's, that's, that story is a good time. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But yeah, I was um I was wearing one of his shorts. He just made this uh, clothing brand or whatever. And the shorts, you know, they come to be a little bit high. They're the <laughs> yeah, you know, they're, they're the, the length of shorts, shorts nowadays. They're the soccer shorts. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and we're yeah. accustomed to that with that lingo with working at Adidas, right? right. Like, yeah. You know the shorts that they would pair with jerseys yeah, yeah, yeah. and those types of training yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, pieces. I pull up, <laughs> and they're above my knee, yes? Yeah. You know, but I'm lotioned up. <laughs> you, you know, I'm, I don't got no scars, chilling, you know what I'm saying? Chilling, chilling. He, he seems to notice my nose, he starts to clown me, but you know, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's good jokes. Yeah, man. That's, good, that's, good. I mean, it seems like a really dope environment to be in, man. Yeah. That's what's up. It's, it's, it's definitely, uh, I, won't, I won't say, it's, it's a hard working environment mm. with, with some peace, but mm. we all definitely work hard. Now. There, there are no slackers. Mm. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, Shout out to manager Ian too. Mm-hmm. Ian is definitely an individual that has always made me feel comfortable. 
since I've been in that circle. So, yeah, those, those guys do a good job of keeping the comfortability in that room and in that space. That's a good type of environment to be around. Yeah. JT's just out here for cardio. So, I mean, <laughs> we, don't, we don't really know what he be doing. That's JT, a- what you be out here doing? Cardio. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I you, right? He just told me, right? He can say, I'm here, he do cardio. I'm here, I'm here to give hot takes about uh, my Nets and my Jets and to make jokes and make family eye references. You with the Nets and the Jets? Oh, man. Yeah. He's had a rough life. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said before we started recording, you don't want to get on the Mavs bus when you can get on the next train. <laughs> uh, nah, it's, it's I imagine you didn't even say. You, I was expecting a first class man with business class yeah. on business the class. train. Business class is nice on on a cellar. I'm telling you, business class is nice. <laughs> Couldn't get a plane another. Get a private jet. Why am, I, why am I taking a plane if I'm going from Philly to New York? I mean, if you're trying you to get Philly? there, it's like wait, I'm talking about. Try, the, I'm try, talking about the Nets. You couldn't compare them to a, a plane or a, anything? I'm comparing it in things that I, I know, right? So taking a bus from New York to Philly versus taking the train from New York to Philly. The train wins 10 times out of 10. Wait, so why is, why is Philly in the conversation? I thought the, I thought the Mavericks were in Dallas. Mm. Shut up. Even still, wait, time out. Even still, I'd rather take Amtrak from New York to Dallas. All right, oh okay, than a bus from New York to Dallas. Oh man, because you know Greyhound, you got to make those 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 layovers and changeovers probably somewhere. Now you got to take the China bus, bro. You be there like you be there five hours. Watch, we have a layover in uh, the deep south somewhere in in Buttsville, Alabama. All right, yeah, Lord Jesus. (laughs) Are you hating on me for trying to get onto the Mavs bus? Right? Oh no, I'm not hating. I'm just I'm just offering you. Listen. Another path to enlightenment, my brother. I Get on now. Right now. <laughs> Use your comments. See, I'm telling you, yo, that's the. Nah, we can't, we can't, we can't do our Kelly. But I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, if somebody you know just like use your cup, okay, I got- hey man, listen. <laughs> The Mavs bandwagon is open to the start of uh, next season, y'all. That's open it. Open to the start of next season. Open to the start of next season. Say me a season. Because listen, who is it? Um, Kenny was talking about it. Where he was like, basically, I had an off season, so you're starting to see what would have been next season. Mm-hmm. Like you see that growth to an extent. Mm-hmm. So, hey, amen. We out here. All I'm saying is, if Porzingis was there, it would have gone seven, or we would have won in six. That's so, and that's the reason why I'm on the bandwagon. It. Period. You know, look look at what hey, this man. kid in his first playoff series. Is doing with no poor Zingas against the team y'all told me reminded y'all of the bad boy Pistons. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas told me the, they had the, the, the best wings th- th- since Scotty and Michael. Scotty and Michael. The perimeter is wicked, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? Play it. Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Play it. Ahead. Go ahead. You guys <laughs> told me they couldn't be beaten. Y'all told me they look scary. I said, no, they could be beaten. I said, nah. The nigga don't got poor Zingis. The white man, dog. He looks like a stereotypical frat boy. Listen. He definitely does, though. Frying. On a bad ankle and hasn't complained yet. You know, so it's just like, there's nah, certain things I pay attention stuff, to at bro. a young age, mm-hmm. especially when we're talking playoffs here. Because when you're yeah. talking to ba- NBA basketball, the regular season for these kids that just shoot the fucking ball all the time really doesn't mean nothing. Oh, you mean like the Timberwolves? Right. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Mm. Hey man, he almost had another forty point triple double in that loss, and you know, as listen to Coach JT, man, the rest of the team was just out there for cardio. He didn't have no help, yeah, he but it's okay because, like I said, going in, this was about building experience, and my thing was like I had a feeling they were gonna like it, it happened like I, before the play, I, mm-hmm. they gonna lose in six, which yeah. is fine because yeah. to me it just makes them hungry. Yeah, like I already know Porzingis is gonna fry next year because you saw how upset he was missing, and also he had the meniscus tear after game one. Mm. He got hurt mm-hmm. after game one, and that's why they were like, yo, he has soreness, he has some swelling, we don't know what's going to happen. So it's like, for him to come back game two, fry, like, you know, he's he's doing a thing, you know what I mean? And it's just, this is what you want from a young team. And it's nice knowing yeah. that our championship window is really, like, starting. Yeah. So we're really going to see where it goes from here. So I think that with the Mavericks, and I had said, like, way previously, like, that is, like, the dark horse team in the West, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I think my biggest fear with them is Przingis' health. Like, yeah. when he was in New York, this man tore his, AC, tore his ACL or MCL. Something, what, yeah, he had it was some, ACL. It was, yeah. it, was a, it was a, it was a, yeah, right. His ACL, he was out for a year. Comes back this year, and I mean, he was, you know, doing doing his thing. And then especially when the bubble restarted, he was killing. 30 and 10, baby. Exactly. But I think now a meniscus here on top of that, he's a tall, lanky dude. I mean, if he can stay healthy. I, I get that. But also my thing is um, I really trust the Mavericks training staff. Yeah, that's Like, that's they're great indeed. with that shit. That's true. 
So my thing is just getting them, getting him, and like you know, this is our field. So just building that lower body base. As we saw, Porzingis was mad swole this year, and I feel like he didn't have enough time mm-hmm. to get used to his body. body. Yeah, exactly. And that's why he was like, "Yo, my shot was off because I wasn't used to ha- having all this like muscle." Mm-hmm. So when he came back to the bubble, mm-hmm. he was slimmed down, and they were like. What, why'd you do that? Yeah. They're like, what are, what are you doing? He's like, no, no, just let me be skinny for a little bit. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. I think now he'll have, like, we don't know what this offseason is going to be like, but right. he'll find a good medium, hopefully. And um, we'll see we'll see where it goes, man. But I'm just happy. Um, Yeah, I, you already know, I told y'all, I want to, I, I want Victor Oladipo. That, I feel like I'm afraid to yeah. be the perfect He's been linked to a lot of teams. He was yeah. linked to your, your Knicks the other day. I saw something. <laughs> linked to all our teams. Yeah, I saw about to reports say, from the Nets, too. I'm uh, like, I, oh, I, I was about to say, fits, everybody, everybody's, uh, everybody's fucking linked to the Knicks. They're talking about overpaying Joe Harris. They're talking about Carmelo. Va- Va- Van Vliet re-signing mm-hmm. Carmelo. Like, Y'all need to sign Fred, bro. Mm-hmm. Fred Van Yee at the Garden. Let's nah, get it. Oh, not, no, Fred about to go steal some money. Nah, he's he's going to get overpaid. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, don't, you don't steal money from the Knicks. They just give it to you. They just give it to my just You know, they leave their door unlocked. Yeah, they should just. I honestly sponsored this co- this podcast because the way they've been they'd be shelling out money to niggas, they might as well give us a mill and tell us like, "Hey, go be here, do your thing, creative content." Do- yeah. Hey, the Knicks give us some money. I'll dig, dug out, dig out that uh, Latrell Spiro jersey I had when I was like five. So. <laughs> that shit still probably fit you. <laughs> All right, see, we're not wild. doing that, boss. Must have probably pull up like. <laughs> <laughs> shit all stretched out. This shit got the New York on its fucking shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, right. nah, no doubt, man, nah. But yo, just seeing yeah. like how good Luca is, and yeah. like just seeing um like h- him, Przingis, and like just other dudes in the bubble killing. Like mm-hmm. also, also, damn, it's gonna it's gonna be really excited for next season in the West. We can we gonna see the fucking the Trailblazers gonna be gonna be good. I think mm-hmm. you're gonna mm-hmm. see the Warriors come back. See how they react to like yo. Having the second pick on top of all of that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, yeah. hold on now, hold on now. You said the you said the Trailblazers. Now, while I don't think it'll happen, there are the rumors that they might, you know. You think so? There my, are the rumors. Uh, I don't know. I don't listen uh, to the. I'll listen I to the naysayers. My only thing with yeah. the Trailblazers is you could definitely see the fatigue. Yeah, like, yeah do you, it's like, and it's the plight of an eight seed. You know, you have to battle your ass off yeah. to get that. They already seed. played two I, playoff series exactly. just to get into the playoffs. And for them to exactly. actually like, you know, that that fatigue it has to it has to culminate at some point. It's got to hit you. I will say this was the first year with the Trailblazers where I I really believed, even though I knew they mm-hmm. weren't gonna go all the way. This is one of those years I could confidently say, you know what, I believe. Mm-hmm. Nurkic came back. <sighs> Listen, different team. It was a different team. Different mm-hmm. team. Okay, Melo came back in to, to do what he wanted to do, and you know what? We're gonna get into we're gonna get into a Melo conversation here too. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right, all right, boss. We're gonna get okay. into a Melo conversation here too because yeah, Melo left the Rockets. They said it was his fault. Cool. Did him? Dan Tony just wanted to do did him. him they did, did him foul, bro. Cool. Well, let's call the spade a spade. CP three left the Rockets. They said it was him. They're facing them right now. Anyway, we'll get to that later. Mm-hmm. Though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My, we'll, we'll, we'll just get to that later. My thing with the Trailblazers though is. I, I I didn't want to believe in CJ. And then he got a back ailment and showed me that he could still, still fried, do that. Bro. Mm-hmm. Okay? He needs to be an all-star. Exactly my Less point. That's just too deep. Though. You know what I'm saying? That, just, and that's the problem that he has he hasn't had an all-star, right? Yeah. Nope. Has not. Which is no, hasn't had an all-star ridiculous. Yet. You're right. Because Dame was Dame was getting snubbed. They, I'm about to say Dame mm-hmm. was getting snubbed. Dame was Dame getting got snubbed, snubbed what, two years ago? Two years yeah. ago. And yeah. that's the scary thing because yeah. if Dame doesn't get snubbed, we're saying someone else got snubbed. Right. Yeah. Like that's how Dame was. Well, listen, West, yeah. Chris Paul don't need to be an all-star roster. I, I mean, said. he wasn't he was an all-star Mutu. this year though. Uh, John, year? he was an, John, he was an all-star Mutu, this year, bro. Not this year. What was what was what was bro? What was OKC about to do? I have a question. Like who got snubbed in the West? Who were the guards that didn't make it in the West? CJ, you could argue. Um who else? Yeah, Luca made it. You should be. I, you, he should have been started. It is what it is. Right, it's whatever. okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Listen. Oh boy. I think after after this this playoff Russ this made, year. Yeah, all the regular. Who, who you who you referring to? My fault. Yeah. Who got? Yeah. No. 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 That's what I'm asking. Oh. I think I I think the only pe- people that got snubbed like right away was probably C J and no Booker. book made it. Well, book off, made it. Well, book made it. Book made it off an of injury, injury. But I'm yeah. saying off rip. And I, I mean, but the team also was bad though. So I mean. Uh, mm. I don't know who else got snubbed, John. What are you, what are you about I, I was asking. Oh, you oh, you just asking. Oh, okay, asking. Oh, I yeah. thought it was going somewhere. Like, yeah, I, I thought it was. No, but wait, also, wait. it's like with the yeah. thing with Dame, it's like I'm glad that they had this because when he got all when he was all NBA, people was on here like, "Yo, what the fuck?" It's because yeah. y'all don't realize what this man does. Yeah. So for him to do this now, like I honestly think the all NBA team is gonna be, um, first team. Yeah, first team. It's gonna be Luca, James Harden, Dame, LeBron. 
Anthony Davis. And was Anthony Davis? Did I have someone else? So everybody, so all West. Bro. Oh, oh and, and Kawhi. Yeah, I, I, oh, no, and Giannis. Giannis. There I was going to say, that's Giannis what I think is LeBron, on there. Giannis, mm-hmm. Luka, James Harden, and PG. And um, P- PG. Dang. Luka's not going to be first team, I don't think. Bro, are you kidding me? Uh-uh. No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think he's gonna be first team, and I, the only reason why not is because it's yet. retro. It's retroactive to the the, the when the season paused, and March. he was averaging thirty ten and ten. Yeah, I know. Much. All right, I'm yeah. I'm thinking. All right, so for, so all really, right, my fault. Twenty eight nine and nine. All right, well, <laughs> he, so when the season ended, you could pro- arguably Giannis and LeBron locked. Yeah, Harden locked. Right. So now Luca, Luka, in my opinion, was a lock at that point. Kawhi. Kawhi lock only because Kawhi of, was oh, hurt oh, so oh, much of the season. Only because me? only because of where his team was at though, because they still yeah, was but a two he was seed. hurt. They was playing though, not all the time. But he was playing. And even when he was, he was playing, was an playing he was still taking games off. He was still taking games off, but he was still killing. And the team was still good. That's, that's we have, my you have thing. To, you have to sat, take that they, into account. They sat so much, bro. But right. I mean, but then, but then you get into the argument that of a guy that's like a Trey Young who could average twenty eight, you know, ten and let's say two. But you're making it seem like the Mavs were winning. I, I'm not saying but, that the no, Mavs wasn't winning, bro. But think about it like this: LeBron was third team All NBA last year, and they just missed the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying well, that LeBron the Mavs. Out listen, for, listen, out listen. Out. I'm saying the Mavs was what at this time that the season ended a six seed, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm saying that the Clippers were a two seed at that time. So I'm telling you, Kawhi is def- he has to be on there. So that's a full. I that's, can see that- him as a second team. Nah, he's gonna be first team. He's gonna be that's first next. team. That's four. That's that, 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 that's four. That's four. And I think the fifth might be Anthony Davis. I think that's. It I would think have the, to be it. I, I think that has to. That has to. That because that. I'm new to the bandwagon. I do want Luca to be first, but I'm with him. I don't think they're gonna do it first just yet. I think they might give him yes. second team. I think everybody is slowly waking up though. As mm-hmm. to what I oh, think, yeah. mm-hmm. I think you know what happened this this year, um, Mutu. Everybody's realizing who Luca is better than. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a fact, and he's better than yeah. a lot of niggas, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he's that's nice. The, that's a real conversation. When, uh, had, when, Hell yeah. when Paul George, well, is on that list. <laughs> oh, pandemic P. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's how that's how this whole episode happened, bro. He hit me up after and was like, he was like, he was like, Paul George is blaming mental health for his struggles. You hate to see it. Man. <laughs> Like, come oh on. So with that, wait, so would that mean people are gonna start calling him psychiatrist P then? Oh, oh no. no. See, 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 and this is JT. where and this is where we're gonna get fined by the FCC. <laughs> yes, yeah, get out of <laughs> I hey, am, man. Because you're you going to say that. Nick, no, no, and then he had me. 15 points the other night. <laughs> this he is had I, one good game. One and a half good game. Niggas nah, nah, said, nah. Niggas said psych, psych, psychiatrist P. Not me. Niggas said. Niggas? Oh, niggas, niggas said, said that. They. That's exactly. a fact. That's they. That's a fact, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's, it's always... It's people always, say that. Who are people? It's always the, an, the animosity. Uh, uh, how you say it? Anima, <laughs> no. Animosity? Animosity. Like, it's something as anonymous. Anonymity. 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 English is hard, bro. Anemone? That like what you said. It's the of niggas. Niggas is always saying, yo, niggas said this. Yo, who's niggas? Niggas. Me. Niggas. Niggas though. You ever see the meme of the the SpongeBob, the Tattletail Strangler, when he holds up the wanted poster? Yeah. Or the SpongeBob where he's the the whole monitor and holding up the picture of the maniac? Yeah. And the caption, niggas. <laughs> oh nah, <man>. niggas! <laughs> hey, someone was saying they're like, where where do you put Luke? I, Luke is definitely a top fifteen player, mm-hmm. but, but it's he's like he's top ten. He's that's what I'm saying. I think I had 10, him. 10. I think I had him at okay. seven. I think I had in no order before. I have LeBron, Dame, uh, Kawhi, Giannis, James Harden, AD. Luca better than Russ. I have Luca. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking in my head. Yeah. And then sure. I have, Luka. I have sure. him. I have him at like seven. There's six players I could definitely say are better than. Him. Okay, mm-hmm. I have a question. Is he better than Russ? Yes. yes. Yeah. Are you yes. kidding? Me? He's better than Russ. I'm just thinking. Let me tell you yeah. why. Let me tell you why. Triple double, and the team still didn't really win. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you're yeah. right. I'm That's thinking. I mean, I mean, uh, and it wasn't inefficient. Like Ru- triple double. Russ is Russ's situation is weird because they was a six seed when he was averaging when he first averaged a triple double and he won MVP as a six seed, which you never see. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, but it wasn't Luke, that efficient. I mean, I guess if we're talking about this past season, yeah, I would I would say that Luca is better. But in yeah. general, I mean, because you got to think when he won MVP, Luca was in the league. I mean, yeah, he was right. That's what I'm saying. It's like uh, I, I, it's it's too early to tell. As an adult, it's apples and oranges. Uh, like, yeah, go ahead, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. no, you go, bro. As an adult, this is the first year I'm paying attention to the phrase "empty stats." Yeah. I, I preach look, that shit look, on he here. Does, look, he does preach those stats. Listen, Mutu, you might, you've been telling Carly Anthony Towns. Listen, it's something to be looked at. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. And you know, my, my my boy made me take a sit down. This you know this year, and we're talking about the whole Russ thing in terms of player impact. 
right? Yep. I'm not saying he doesn't have it. Win shares. We're talking about <laughs> Luka Doncic, who again is on his last leg, no poor Zingas, and has enough wearenthal, right, to, to to rally up the team when you're playing the, the monsters in everybody else's eyes of this year, right? It's you know what I'm saying. It's a different yeah. type of it's a different type of uh, presence there. You know? Him frying like two Russell. people who are in defensive player of the year conversations. Listen, come on, Dean. Nah, 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 and honestly, it's, it's just different. It's Jordan esque, honestly. After like, air, after very... airballing a three pointer to still have the poise at 21 years old to be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this shot. I'm gonna do it again. In your first playoff <laughs> series ever. Yeah, it's, you don't know. It's just different. It, it's very, it's very. Um, oh, I gotta ask. Did you see yeah. the last dance? Yeah, I saw the last. dance. Okay, all right. Yeah. So I'm about yeah. to make make a wild ass comparison, but sure. I, I, this is the way I see it. When Jordan first went up against the Celtics, right, mm-hmm. and he was going crazy. Mm-hmm. This is very similar. I think yeah. this is very similar. No, no, like, yeah, yeah. you're spot on. He was a young guy. Spot on with that. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Because right. like. He was and, doing everything in his power. And, and this is before me even seeing the game win went with the game winner. And then I'm listening to it in the car because I'm driving from wherever the fuck I'm driving you from. You know where he was driving from. All right. But <laughs> driving from wherever the hell I was driving from. Jonathan. <laughs> you, see, you, see, you see? There it is again. Niggas. Niggas, <laughs> Niggas is stupid. <laughs> Who's stupid? Niggas. <laughs> but it's like, this man is fucking good at basketball, bro. It's just different. Yeah, he's different. You he's know what I'm saying? These white men are dangerous. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just changes everything for me. Empty stats. I used, to, I used to be like, yo, but this person does all this and this and that. Yeah, but how much did they do for the team? It's mm. about winning. That's the, bo- right. that's, that's the bottom line, bro. Right, when right. it comes down to it, people don't give a fuck if you average a no. triple-double. People is looking if you, if you got the rings, right. if you got... What what it takes to be like memorable, a champion. Mm-hmm. People right. always going back to that. Yeah. Like my thing, like I said before, I felt like in the beginning of the season we had Luke and them MVP conversation, how well the Mavs are doing. Yeah. If do we if this next coming season we see Luca that we saw now in this bubble, again I think the Mavericks finished as a four seed and he wins an MVP in the next two to three years. And yeah. if he finishes as a four seed, he's he's in the top three, top four for MVP voting. And I said that at the beginning of the year, if they finish in the four seed, he you would have to consider him an MVP voter. For real. I, I agree. Listen, How I, far is he away from top five? He's yeah, not I said he's at seven he's now. So barring he's barring barring oh, people close. come back healthy next year. Yeah. How far? Yeah, because Steph until, would would slide Steph, in. Because Steph, because I'm thinking and Steph and KD. Yeah. KDs, yeah. So, okay. Okay. How far or how, when does he get to top five? See, you can make, kinda, the, him, see, you can make the, the argument for him. Here's the thing: is that like I feel like seven seven is probably. A good number for him, I think. I think with Luca, because like you gotta think, at some point LeBron's gonna retire. He's thirty six, thirty seven. Yes. So he's eventually going to as sad never. as never. Yeah, thirty four. Oh, you say yeah. at thirty six, thirty seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's never gonna Every retire. Every time my hand getting old, I be tight. Bro, he's gonna he's gonna last he's until gonna, Bronny gets. Yeah, he's waiting. He's scary. waiting for Bronny. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> right, 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 exactly. So I think he like he'll yeah. you know fade, fade off. So I think he'll he'll move up. Um, KD's getting older. I think Everyone's KD older. is probably KD the will probably one go that... back into the top five. Steph probably will go into the top five. Kawhi, he may end up being better. I don't know. This depends on. I and guess you still it also depends Harden. on how much he plays. He still got and James Harden. That's another. Harden that, that's another. With the Rockets, who's still never going to win nothing. But is he still a top? Italian. But he's still a top. Oh five yeah, player. for sure. Yeah, but one of the greatest that, offensive talents in history. Does that not show you just how good niggas are? Like niggas. to say that Luca can't top for what he was doing. Yeah. He can't top crack the top five going into next year. It's scary. Yeah, Dame that, can't, doing totally, what he did this bubble. I think, can't cut top. I, top in a great I think. Place, man. I think. I think league's in a great and, place. But the conversation changes if the Mavericks win. God, God, please help me. But yeah, if, they, mm-hmm. if the Mavericks <laughs> was to win, I think that oh, yeah. kind, that like. You hey know, man, book your tickets before support. the start of next season, dog. You already know I'm in there. Be in Dallas every other weekend. <laughs> oh, speaking speaking of winning. <laughs> Hey man, now since the Mavs are out, yeah. I can just and the Blazers are out, I yeah. can root wholeheartedly for my guy Jimmy Butler. Let's go. And again, I've been oh, saying yeah. this forever. Yep, you have Let's best see. matchup. This That's the dark, dark, dark horse team. team now. Yep. That's the dark horse Same. team, man. Love to hey, see it. Jimmy was cooking last night. I have a question. Talk nice. And, you know, talk this, nice. This may come across a little ignorant, but okay. I like ignorance. Giannis sometimes. Giannis was awarded Defensive Player of the Year yes. mm-hmm. a few days ago, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why is it that the Defensive Player of the Year let this man cook his team down the stretch, possession after possession, mm. and did not switch? Then in an interview was asked, did you ever think about switching on to Jimmy? And he asked, why would you ask that question? Mm. 
Excuse me, mm-hmm. sir. You are six, not six, six, nine, six, ten, six, eleven. Let's with, say six, eleven. With yeah. arms that stretch for ne- till next week. Let's say seven, five, <laughs> wingspan. Arguably one of the most athletic specimens in the league. That was a Stephen A. analogy. I like that. Thank like you. That. Mm. Like and that. you mean to tell me that you <laughs> didn't think about switching on defense? Not once? Yeah. You couldn't tell Mike? Yo, Boonhoser, like, you just saw I got this this award. Let me lock this guy up. Boonhoser shouldn't have had to tell him that, though. But hey, man. that's a whole different thing. No, I'm fact. saying Giannis should, should be the one telling Boot, like, yo, fuck the matchups. Kind of like how <laughs> Kawhi should have done that with <laughs> Doc when you Luka hit the game winner. Mid coach. So, you know what? The thing with Giannis, I think he's a really, really, really good player. I don't think he's the best leader. I don't think he had that killer in him. Mm, I don't think. No, no, no. I, I, I think he, he has, has dog. In him. I, think I, think he has, I think he has dog. He has I don't dog think. He, I don't think he had that killer. You, you don't think he has lead killer, dog? In him? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he could be uh, a dog. But the thing scratch. with being a really good player is when you're a really good player, right? You always just want to do what everybody tells you really, really well. You don't go into the thinking of, oh, I need to do this because this is this 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 got mimicked. This got changed. This got altered. I have to alter. I have to. I have to adapt for what just happened. Mm, yeah, yeah. I just it's Russell have to Westbrook getting triple doubles and still not winning. Is re- <laughs> Russell Westbrook getting triple doubles and still not winning? Exactly. <laughs> but I mean, but see, that's the thing though. Is that Russ? You can see, like, yeah. all right. But if we if we talking about who has that killer instinct, nah, Russ, like, Russ got it. Russ, Russ will take Ru- that shot Ru- in confidence. Ru- Russ got that shit. He yeah. might he might break the shit. He'll out break of it, it, but at least but he'll at take least it. He got, he, he, he at least he's not Ben Simmons. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hey man, just, that's another thing. Let's Jimmy, stay on the heat. Yeah, Jimmy was out here. Jimmy was out here. Yeah. I didn't even realize how bad of a season from three point he was having. Right. Terrible. Right. I when I heard the numbers, this man was shooting like twenty five percent from three in the regular yeah. season. No, but but Jimmy Butler, really? really? Has he yeah. ever shot over thirty two percent? No, but that's the thing. I expect like I expect like around that. I guess right. Yeah. I don't expect he's him to be a really, great three point yeah, shooter. About to say. But my thing is, you don't want to just give him open looks. Right. But yeah. in the bubble, like in the past couple of games, he's been cut. Like, he's out here like yo. I'm raising my level of play. That's what you want him to do to the point that Joel Embiid is sitting on his fucking sitting in Cancun. Like, <laughs> damn, maybe I should have listened to him. Yeah. Bro, when he tweeted hey, if with the with the four dots, bro, I know Sixers front office was sweating their asses off. But 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 my thing is though, he, Joel wants to act like he's the workhorse that he's not. When we talk about the heat, when we talk about Eric Spolstra, when we hey, talk man, about this is a great coach, coaching great matchup. Coach. Thank you. Because you guys know when we talk about Pat Riley, it the aura. Mm-hmm. And that organization makes you feel like you are a superstar. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yep. Jo- jo- uh, Joel Embiid, I know Brett is not the best coach, but again, you look like you don't have that... Understatement of the year. Understatement of the year. <laughs> Listen, wow. We don't know what the fuck Brett John. is, but you know that's where he is yeah. where he is right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes when it comes to him, he's another one on my radar where it's just like, you, you kind of want to want to do it for yourself, bro. I'm not seeing the killer in you. Mm. Yeah. And you're trying to compare yourself to a Jimmy, or, or if I had Jimmy, it'd be different. Dude, you're seven feet. Jimmy, you couldn't win Jimmy me a game. Me. Jimmy yeah. and Dragic, you couldn't had win 50 me a game. One game, a but, you know what, King? You couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get me one. Nah, but game? It's, it's hard when you you're a big man a in a not in a non big man's league, though. I I I, I get what you're saying. But all right, game I get that. But at the same time, yeah, that think about all the teams that have big men that are doing great. And the thing is, Joel can stretch, mm, bro. Joel can, can stretch. He can stretch, but He's, still, at the end of the day, you got to rely on somebody else to get Enos the ball. Enos Cantor di- and Daniel Tice, and this man, Tice those were the up. centers he was going up against right. in that series, right? Right. Then he was out here taking contested fadeaways while being guarded by Marcus Smart and Thank Kemba you. Walker. Thank you. Six foot one Kemba Walker Thank and Tim's. Bro, you come on, it. man. When it, when it comes to that role, the Tim, you gotta have. Not the others. Uh, not the others. <laughs> nah, when you got Daniel Thice and fucking Enos Cantor guarding you, bro, you gotta Who? average 50. Yeah, exactly. You gotta you gotta average 50 points in the paint. That's just in the in, paint. Bro. Hey, man, speaking of paint, that's what the fucking Heat did to the best defense in the NBA. Talk about Scored it. Scored majority of their points in the paint. Talk about made it. Made them look average. Talk Why? about it. Eric Spolster, man. Yeah. Mike Budenholzer is a great coach. Yeah, I still sure. think Eric Spolster is better. I love better. this. And they, they're talking about They're like, literally, it felt like every dead ball, it was just constant subs because yes. they have the pieces to mix everything up. Yeah. And it's great, man. And I, even so, like, yeah, I was really surprised awesome Jimmy shit. did facts. I was surprised Jimmy do so well because, like, parts of the game, and I was listening to it because I was driving, and it's like, you, you saw where Jimmy was getting trapped and he had turnovers and stuff like that. But the thing, and this is what makes great players great, they're yeah. not getting discouraged. Like, like shoot or shoot. And he was out here. He's like, I got a turnover, whatever. I'm making it up on defense, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to just drive it down, get a foul, score, dunk on somebody. Like, it was out here. And Goran Dragic was frying, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, the two of them, like, the two of them deadass had 50 points combined in, like, the third quarter. And, and the Bucks, my fault, JT. I know you want to say something. I don't I know. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I can see it. The Bucks don't play as a team. All right? Let's talk about Chris Middleton real quick. Oh, man. Mm-mm-mm. Chrissy Chris. Who? 
Who? Nah, I don't do Who? that. Nah, I don't do that. Uh, you, you, nah, it's fucked up because I had him on my fantasy. You're not talking uh, about all. Uh, you're not talking about all star Chris Middleton. We're talking about. We're talking about Tien. Who? <laughs> Tien? Oh nah, he not he not a waste man like that. Who? Oh, talking about Tien? Oh no, not Middleton. Tien, bro. Yamcha, Krillin. Which one you want? Nah, 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 nah. nah. He's Middleton. A, he's a second tier saying. Let's put it like that. He's like he's Raditz. Fuck out of here. Middleton that was giving me Raditz. <laughs> wasn't he the one uh, tr- trying to follow Malcolm Brogdon with the 90, 50, 40? The 50, 40, 90? 50, 40, 90? Wasn't he Yeah, same, he right? was like, yeah, he was like a, a, a few just, shots off. Yeah. In the bubble, right? Yeah. Meaning, okay, we gave you this amount of money, Chris, because we believe that you could be side by side with Giannis, and when, when, when it's time to win, you're going to step up. Mm-hmm. Look at the Miami Heat bench. It's M- Motu just said it. It's a bunch of other niggas. They just keep swapping in and out. That Kendrick know the Nunn's offense. playing great again. They, they all yep. know the offense. Indeed. They're very disciplined. Yep. What's the problem with the Bucks? Where, where, where Giannis is scoring three points and Chris Middleton can't even can't even help that out. Hey, Giannis, this was. Hey, I'm, <laughs> a, I'm gonna tell you. The, I'm quarter. gonna tell you the stats right now. I <laughs> wicked. One thing we preach it. Bam matches the best with Giannis. Giannis had 18, 10, and nine. Underwhelming. That's your MVP, and, and dog. How many, and how many minutes? In thirty six minutes. That's your MVP. Chris Middleton had twenty eight, six, and five with two steals. Brooke Lopez had twenty four. And then Kyle Korver had 11. Well, no one else touched double digits. 28 points for Middleton, right? And you think yeah. on the surface, that's oh, that's good. great. Yeah. He had 21 at halftime. There you go. See? So seven that's points. In, there you go. Seven okay, points in the second half. At the same, all right. Seven, oh points, seven points in the seven. In this. So you're telling me that with people rebounding like Giannis, like Brooke, Lo- Brooke Lopez had one rebound. That that's his game. That, 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 that's, that's been Brooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you no, know, so but at the same yeah, time, right. they were talking about how Milwaukee Brook has been different. They're like, he actually plays defense. Yeah, shit like that. Bam had a bio, bio had seventeen rebounds. Bam played better defense than Brook. 12, <laughs> 17, <laughs> 6, and two. What's the point of having bigs if you're not going to use them? Niggas got to board up. Hey, man. hey so them? but but this is kind of like what I was gonna say a little bit earlier, right? Yeah. Talk nice. Mike Boonehoser may be going into that realm of he's a really, really he's a great regular season coach, but is not a good playoff coach because playoffs is all about adjustments, right? And I oh, like Doc Rivers, yeah. So like a big thing I'm seeing with a lot of Bucks oh. fans that John I that John I is officially the yeah, shadiest nigga. John, alive you are in a shady football. guy. John some shit today. It's some more. It's more shady <laughs> no, no, no. than a park. To, to, to <laughs> today, <laughs> today. Oh my god, son. Spicy shit shadow today. phone jutsu over here, man. Spicy <laughs> the biscuit. But I mean, you see it. And the 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 best coaches in the playoffs are the ones that make adjustments, right? right. And Boonehoser seems to be just working along like regular season, he right? Step behind Spolstra. Where it's like, why are you taking Giannis out and Middleton out and your best players out? These guys should be averaging. F- playoff time is different. Your starters should be averaging around 40, 40 mm-hmm. minutes a game. Mm-hmm. Does does not matter. They should be conditioned, yeah. especially in the bubble. Doesn't matter. Giannis should be out there at least at the least forty minutes a game. Mm-hmm. Yep. They all have five months off. Him playing 35 minutes a game in game one or 36 minutes a game, a, a game, it is only one game, but 30, 36 minutes is not good no. because you're seeing that your team is not as deep as you think it is. If Wes Matthews isn't hitting shots, if Pat Connaughton, pride of Notre Dame baseball, isn't hitting shots, Dante DiVincenzo, I don't know what he gives you. Why Dante? You know. I don't, He's there, Alex but, but also, Eric, Eric He's going to scrap. It's not going to show up on and the Eric box. And Eric Bledsoe's not playing. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't play yet. Bro, I history. forgot Eric he's Bledsoe playing. was on that team. Yeah. No, he, he played. Nah, he's been, no, he's been oh, playing, but oh. he just got, he just recently got hurt, which yes. is like, yeah. Another another. Thing. I'm just out here. As far, like I'm literally, I I literally forgot he's on that team because I'm just out here like, oh yeah, George Hill's starting in the point guard. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But see, that's why I fuck with um Jimmy. And that, fuck with Jimmy. Because in that late game si- situation scenario, even if he's not scoring, he's going to effectively mm-hmm. affect his team in a good position. Did yeah. you um the two things? Of, did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? He, why um because like now playoffs you could bring your family second round of playoffs. Right. Did you hear what he said? Oh, you ain't bringing nobody. He was like, he was like, he was like yeah, he was like, he was like, I understand if y'all want to bring your family to school. He's like, but for me, it's just a business trip. He's like, we've been out here this long without family. Gangsta. What's a couple months more? But his That's mentality. fire, bro. His men- there you go. There you go. He knows. He knows the soundboard better than me. <laughs> I'm about to say. I don't ever think I've even heard Justin touch a button. <laughs> Justin be like, sound, it's like an old old person trying to like operate a key. Speaking of old people, real quick. All right, all right just really quick sidebar. Yeah, yeah. So my grandmother, she's uh, she's a dean of Adelphi University. Whatever. She's uh, she's been doing that for mad long. She just retired yesterday. Oh, Thank congrats, fucking congrats. God. Oh, so you don't have to do the online stuff anymore? Yes. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy because every five minutes I'd be in my room doing whatever I'm doing. Miles, can you help me print this grandma? Control P, <laughs> press the button. Every time. Every time. Oh, you know what she had the nerve to say to me yesterday? She was just like, yeah, I'm retired, so now you can teach me how to use my new computer. 
<laughs> new yeah. computer? Why are you getting a new computer? Gotta stay stimulated, Miles. <laughs> Anyways, gotta stay stimulated. I was that 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 was my that was my hot moment of the day. That <laughs> shit blew mine. Oh god. The second thing Jimmy said was um yeah. was he was like he was like I, he was like in the end I told the guys he was like listen I'm probably not gonna pass the ball I'm gonna just keep shooting and he was like after I hit a couple shots they were like hey man do what you gotta do nah. and that's 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 the type of environment I, you want to be in really and that's the type that. of leader you want that's what I don't I'm saying know, I don't know if it's I, I respect that because I'm an only child but like <laughs> I don't need everybody coming tagging along with me everything for a support system again I know everybody's a bit different but for me bro this is a business trip. I, I feel like I want to relax when I know we are done here. Mm -hmm. When this shit is in completion and I, I am in off-season mode, hello, ma. Hello, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I, I completely feel that. Because I feel like, yo, you've been so locked into the bubble, like an AAU mm -hmm. system, yeah. right, yeah. for for the last couple of weeks now. And now you want to incorporate a wife, maybe a, a, a son. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. It's good hey, man, for all soul. I'm saying is Giannis got fried in front of his kid. So. In front of his yeah. you. I'm that talking was, front row with, with, with the baby sucking in his mouth. Bro, Loki, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy got like Damn. an and one or something and like started staring at the crowd. And I was sitting here, I was like, I, I'm just, in my head, he was just staring at Giannis' son. <laughs> like, I doubt that's what happened, but like in that, my head, like, that, that nigga made it is so much like, better. Like, like that nigga he was like, yeah, aware. I'm frying your daddy. Yeah. <laughs> that's wild, bro. I'm your daddy now. <laughs> oh, nah. That's some Jimmy shit. <laughs> that is some Jimmy shit. For him to stare down a baby, bro. But he got that killer instinct, love, bro. Love, that's love, a, that's, it, the, bro. that's the difference it. between, and, and it's just something that is just so uncommon in today's NBA. Somebody exactly. is just like, yo, I'm going to take over the game. Like the Kobe, MJ kind mm -hmm. of mindset, like... I don't, I'm not trying to start a part of nothing here, but LeBron is not even necessarily known for having that, even though, like, you know, playoff Bron is different. Yeah. He's you know a distributor, veteran. Yes, he's yep. a, indeed. Yep. But all I'm saying, all I'm saying is this Giannis got to step the fuck up. We know what the fuck he's capable of mm -hmm. doing on the floor. You're the defensive player of the year. You got to shut down whoever you need to shut down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Man. And granted, the Heat rotation is really fucking good, and Spolstra mm -hmm. is a great fuck. You like that? See, I got it. Yeah. Spolstra, Spolstra. You got it right this Spolstra. time. <laughs> there it is. No, nah, but, um, yeah, bro, Giannis got to Giannis got to do better in this superstar league. Your superstars have to perform, yeah. yo. Otherwise, you're yeah. you're not gonna it win. Point blank, period. It just doesn't matter. Hey, man. Speak, doesn't speak, matter. Speaking of kids and superstars, Fred Van Fleet just saw his kids for the first time. So I'm saying he getting 30 next game, which should be tonight. <laughs> nice. Y'all are gonna hear this tomorrow. Nice. But, Indeed. Hey, man. So he that's better. Where, yeah, they need. God damn, they, Fred they Van Vliet messing up some of my parlays and shit. Good. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. I, listen, I actually had a parlay that hit big. That's why. That's why John got your money. Shit, I even paid Matt his shit in advance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you was feeling like, good. I was, I was like, my shit hit. I said, all right, bet I could, you know. Shit, yeah, I mean, since up. you feeling generous, you know, uh, help I me was, out a little bit. You know? <laughs> man, I, was, I was out here throwing niggas money behind the back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this shit was, yeah, nah, nah, yeah. But anyways, I'm about to say, bro. Yeah, the the, the um the the Raptors dog. Yeah, I. didn't... They went out this, sad this, first this, game. There's some conversations to be had about them. Yeah, there's, there's a few. Bro, did you see the video that the the meme was like Pascal Siakam's only move, and there's the video of the gorilla spinning <laughs> in the, in the <laughs> zoo see, pit. See the pool? <laughs> <Not doing that. laughs> and then I thought about it. I'm like. Damn, if this nigga's not taking an open three-pointer from the corner, that's literally his only that's move. That's honest as shit, too. If you force him left, he spins back right every yeah. time in the paint. He did, he has that in the Euro. Yeah. Once you figure out how to guard that with this, with t uh, drawing a charge... Or that's, just you know, make them stay Or just left. clogging, or just or just clogging the left. paint like they do. Yeah, exactly. You know? Now you, you got a bad Build shot. Build a f***ing wall. Yeah. I don't know no. why I censored myself, but yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed in Siakam. Now, I will say that. I mean, um, game one yeah, shit, though. Yeah, game one game shit. One, shit. Yeah. I mean, even even bubble shit, though. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, like, he has like, a No, man. bubble wise, he is not being. Even in the next the, the, the next series, he only had one game, one good game. Exactly. If we want you guys no, to really be scary as it. the contender champions, like, you, you, you've got to play like it specifically. You know, mm -hmm. you are yeah. the guy here. In late game yeah. scenario situations, are they just supposed to go to Van Fleet? Hey, man, Fred, Fred got that in him. Fred, Fred, Fred a killer. Fred, got Fred got that. But I ain't you, gonna lie. What yeah. happened when you put a, a real sh defensive uh, 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 stop on him? Though? Yeah, then you know, Spicy P's got to do it. Yeah, man. right. Hey, you know who's sliding under the radar? It's not getting as much slander as he should. Kyle Lowry has looked very mid. I mean, who? <laughs> Kyle Lowry. The I'm pride of, I'm the, killing okay. Kyle Lowry. The, the pride oh, of man. the pride of Villanova basketball. <laughs> Philly. The pride of North Philly. You know, God. the net series. Wasn't looking. He wasn't spectacular. I think he the highest he scored was like fourteen in a game. Like he wasn't spectacular. So some regular Kyle Lowry says that people still give him mad credit, for <laughs> right? Cool. We, and we were big up in Kyle because he had that thirty three point performance against the, the Lakers. Lakers. Yeah. Right? All I'm saying is y'all need to pay me for the takes I say on this show at this point, dog. <laughs> hey man. At this point, continue. Bro. But I'm just saying, like, and he was he was selling the first quarter of that Celtics that game one. He was selling like three turnovers. Tried to try to draw fouls. 
flopping all over the place. So you're complaining. saying it's playoff Kyle Lowry. So playoff back. Kyle Lowry, yes. Yeah. You know, back. but I'm just backing him better. I don't know. I trust Nick Nurse. I have no. He's given me no reason to distrust Nick. Yeah, to yeah him. I don't think it's Nick. So listen, no, he's whatever. gonna give them a game plan. If niggas don't want to hit shots and play defense, that's whatever. On them. Whatever Big happens guys. with the Raptors, they already overachieved by going this far and doing this. They much, did. In my opinion. And being so a, they a can two. they can they can get they can get swept, and they already did more than what we ever expected. Out I of thought them. they were gonna be a six yeah. seed coming in this mm-hmm. year. Literally, that's you why. Gonna let them, you gonna let them go that easy, bro? If, I, I say, don't want them to get swept because I don't think the Celtics are that good. Yeah, I don't want them to get swept. I'm just hyping. I'm hypothetically just saying if they do, it's like the team already did way, way more than Past what we expected. Really. And that's what I'm saying. That's why Nick Nurse won coach of the year. Mm. You, that's know, you have a good point. It's just, it's really difficult to see to, when I when I know players who are capable of playing really well mm-hmm. not want to play well. Let me explain, right? Kawhi Leonard has left the team. I'm thinking the whole Raptors is going, yo, all of us just start wilding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me in my head. I'm thinking, yo, if I'm Siakam, oh shit, let me super step up now. Kyle Lowry, I've been the rock on this team. Let me show why I'm that vet. Fred Van Fleet, let me bring it every single night. And then the bench, let's all click. Let's all do it because there's not, quote unquote, that one guy who we're looking at. Like, yeah, we're assuming you have Fred Van Fleet and your, and your Siakams, but this is the time where we should just be showing y'all as a team we can do it because they have players who are capable. So, you know? the hey man, difference, in my the opinion, difference... Kyle Lowry stepping up is defensive drogic, so... <laughs> The difference between, and I will say the the Heat and the Raptors, they mm-hmm. both have two things in common, is that they're both really good defensive teams and they have really good coaches. And they, th- three things actually. And they don't have like one real like, well, Jimmy's a, Jimmy's no a, superstar. Jimmy's a, he's he's not a star. He's not a superstar. Jimmy's not a superstar. They, yeah. both teams don't have superstars. Not his fault. Just saying. Right. He was in better situations. But the <laughs> thing is, is that the Heat have somebody who can step up in those situations, and that is what Jimmy does. Mm-hmm. The Raptors right. don't really have that one person yeah. who they who they can go to. Like you it know, it was the issue the Celtics had before, right? But now the Celtics is kind of by committee too. But also, like, all right, well, it's gonna be if we really need a bucket, give the ball to Kemba, Jason I Tatum. I don't know. It's... Nah, I got Tatum. T- Jason Tatum. Listen, I and he's gonna Tatum. say Jalen Brown. No, Are you wait, not? Jalen Brown. Oh no, no. If I need a bucket, oh, if you no. need a bucket, oh, if I need a bucket, no. T- uh, Tatum than Kemba. Tatum. Tatum. You know. Tatum, yeah. But anyways. That have... team and the team works well even without uh Tatum because Tatum only scored like one point, one basket in that first quarter, and they yeah. went into the second quarter up like fifteen. Yep. That's like, what I say. Well, yeah, the Rockets came out real sad. But again, like the Celtics, they're a good team. I still do not see them beating any of the actual contending teams in my talk opinion. About it. They, talk. They're just I feel like they just need like a if if Enos Cantor was something defensively, something, even, even just effort, wow. he's Let's, just a big body out there, as as you like to say, just out there for cardio on defense. True. Well, I mean, but he, I mean, I can't really say he's just out there for cardio because he he racks up boards. Like he, he racks up boards like he, no, he's, but he's but no more of an offensive rebound. The interesting anything. thing about that game one is that Enos Cantor was losing minutes to Robert Williams. Yeah. Um, Who? Robert Williams, Meek Mill, uh, SEC it's Defensive like Player of the Year, down. two straight years in a row. Come on, JT, um, from Texas A&M. Stats down. Come on, um, I, only know, I, only, I only know. I only know. I only know this. CBS. I only know this because my brother's a big time Celtics fan. Gosh, gotcha, you gotcha. loves. He nasty. loves Robert Williams, nasty. but nasty. he was nasty. giving them really, really good minutes in Game One, and was giving providing that offense. And not to say that he has, you know, a bag in the post, but it's just a way better player in the pick and roll. Mm-hmm. Can dive to the basket. Can finish. His I don't think it's that harder to be better than Enos Kanter, but I understand. Oh what no, you're it's saying. not. I'm gonna, that's what I'm, man, saying. I'm, I'm gonna give this man his credit. Yeah, like he that I think that was a big difference in in the game too. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if like if Enos loses some more minutes to Robert. Mm-hmm. But I would say the best player on the Raptors right now is probably Serge Ibaka. He's been, kill- he's been killing off the bench. He's been killing. Yeah. But I mean, it's really been like that for like the past like three games. Before that, he was kind of like waste. He was waste- very stagnant. Yeah, he was mm-hmm. kind of waste monish, but mm-hmm. you know, a <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. little bit. But you know, he's killing now. So I yeah. guess, it, you know. So that's the thing. It's just like, what you gotta, for me lately? this is what I feel like game two, even if they lose, is whether is you're going to see if the Raptors are really going to play or if they're packing it in. Because if they lose a close one, but they're playing their ass off and like it's an even box score. Then you're like, all right, we got, we still have somewhat of a series. Mm. If they pack it in, yeah. like I felt like the first game, that's what they were doing. Like I felt like they was out here, like fuck. Once uh, Siakam got that third foul, I think in the first quarter, is that the first or early in the second? I was like, all right, they're not, they're not doing anything this game. Mm-hmm. Hey man, we, but Fred Van Fleet saw his kids, so you know. Well now, and now he saw his kids. <laughs> yeah, so it's just crazy. So game two. What did you guys say that the teams are pretty evenly matched though? These two teams, the Celtics and the Raptors. I think the Celtics have. 
Um, I, th- I think the Celtics have better scoring options. I Celtics think are yeah, better offensively, yeah, but the Raptors better. get you defensively. The, yeah. the most even thing I think about the teams is I think the coaching matchup. So I think it's mm. like you got two very good coaches going against each other and Brad Stevens and Nick Nurse, but at the same time, they kind of like what John I said. Was giving Brad Stevens credit, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. Um, <laughs> yeah, nah. but not nah, listen. I mean, I think personally, like the coaches outside of the teams with with, with wild superstars, Frank Vogel and uh, <clears throat> um, Doc Rivers. Like I think the coaching the coach Coaching in the playoffs is very elite. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I'm very excited to see these oh. games. I'm sorry to kind of like take away from like the Celtics and Raptors, but like, yo, we got two game sevens. About yeah, the first round is almost done. Almost, though. Almost. Hey, man, the biggest rivalry in the NBA right now, Donovan Mitchell and Jamal Murray. <laughs> Bro, Jamal is different right now. Yo, they're both different. They're both different. Son, it's really the Murray and Mitchell show, bro. It's Jamal's percentages that's killing me right now. He shot 70%. Yeah, a 50-point game. That's, that's that's ridiculous. Crazy. Nine of twelve from three. Nine of twelve. That's that, that's, that's, that that's ridiculous. Bro. That and then, and then showing up in the fourth. Yes. You telling me this man shot seventy five percent from the free throw like, line? You know I mean, it's three point, point line. line. Yeah. Like, Not even Steph Curry is doing that. It's, you know it's bad when like you he gets the ball and you're like oh no matter what he throws up you know what's going in. Who, who's more important to the Nuggets? Uh, Jamal Murray or Jokic? Jokic. 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 It's still Jokic. Mm-hmm. Is it? Damn, yeah. I was hoping one of y'all would have disagreed. Is it? Yeah. I'm gonna dis- right, let me disagree then. Let All me right. disagree. Let's let me, play, let, let play me, devil's let advocate. Let me be devil advocate yes. real quick. Okay. Because I you. feel like yes. Jokic is gonna take you there, right? Like we're gonna get to the playoffs. We're gonna, mm-hmm. we're gonna, you know, we're gonna win a good amount of games during the regular season, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you why I feel like Jamal is the key now. We we've seen a couple playoff series out of Jokic, right? Yep. This is yep. the first year we've seen, you know, seen some playoff series out of him. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in him being the X factor and being the one to close out this game. I don't think he's. Yeah. So, all right, all right. I, I don't believe you it. Want, all right, I'll yeah. go. F- go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> all right. So my only thing with Jokic is that yeah. Jokic is a, is the glue. He is the he mm-hmm. is the consistency. That team doesn't move without him. Yes. All right. Well, fuck me then. But yes, Jan, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he has a point. But yeah, but in terms of getting done and winning, and advancing. You finish your point. I'll go. No, no, no. All <laughs> I was, all I was gonna say is, Jokic brings that level of consistency that you need to stay to stay in the game. Now, what I will agree with you on yeah. is that a team does need a ball handler that can go out and and, and do mm-hmm. that. That doesn't necessarily have to be Jamal Murray. He's right. he, he. Listen, we've seen Jamal Murray when he's really good, which at this point he's really fucking mm-hmm. good. Yeah. But then we've seen him when he's been regular, like you know what I'm saying, like mm-hmm. Chris, Christmas for example. He was he was regular mm-hmm. at be, at best when they played against. I forgot who the fuck they played against, but. You know what I'm saying? Like he was, he was, he's been, re- he's been regular. And there's so many other options on that team that has been good. Will right. Barton, right? You seen Michael right. Porter Jr. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And as a defensive option, Gary Harris. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a, one of those things that it doesn't necessarily have to be Jamal, but Jamal stepping up is big time for them. So my thing is, it almost feels like Jamal is doing that Kyrie role. So my thing is, mm. I've always said, pure scorers cannot lead teams. Mm. That role is that the ultimate beta right where it's like it's the same thing where it's like in this situation don't take the comparison with a grain of salt but right. it's like it's lebron and Kyrie. Mm-hmm. you have someone who facilitates the offense who moves the team right. that's gonna guide your team but when you need that three-pointer when mm-hmm. you need that clutch bucket mm-hmm. it'll be someone kicking it to him mm-hmm. or him just getting that shot and creating because he can mm-hmm. so my thing is i don't I don't necessarily think Jamal's a pure scorer because even though he has defensive O's, he busts his ass on defense. I'm gonna give him that. But um, he's like that's that's what it is. It's it goes yo, the team like you said, the team doesn't get to that point without Jokic. Yeah. So that's why I still think he's the most important. Right. But when you need that person in the clutch, it's good to know that you can turn to him. And I only bring that up because you know if Jokic gives me thirty and ten in the playoffs, no Jamal Murray playing. Let's just say hypothetically, mm-hmm. right? And they lose. Mm-hmm. But if Jamal Murray plays with Jokic and they win. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason why I pose the question as to what's what's a little bit more important. Because do you want to get to a certain point and just stay there? Like, we know Joke is always going to get us to the second round. Boom. Or we know this guy Jamal Murray here. Like, we know Joke is overall better. But in mm-hmm. terms of importance to this team to take us to that next step, that's the only reason why I bring the bring the question. Okay, right. and that, and that, and that's, that's fair. fair, and that's yeah. fair. But yeah. and this is and yeah. I and I only reason why I disagree with you is that yeah. Jamal Murray is not elite consistently. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. He's been gotcha. elite. If in he this, continues this, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. if, if 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 he continues this streak of, of eliteness, the Nuggets can win the championship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Honestly, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. the pessimist in me, right. you know, the <laughs> the realist that the New York Knicks have made me, <laughs> will not allow myself to give him the benefit of the doubt. I, I, I understand uh, that. Yeah, man. That you know what sense. I'm thinking? I'm thinking. Because Jamal has that facilitator, and like you said, Kyrie mm-hmm. had that facilitator with uh, LeBron in Cleveland. 
is that what Devin Booker is missing in Phoenix to take them over the hump? Because he, mm. pure score, DeAndre Ayton. Dude, he just is, played with Ricky Rubio. I mean, yeah. Is it enough? Is, it enough, is, it an, asking, is that enough? If you're of asking a, for a facilitator with a scorer, like. He has a point, but is that type of guard enough? I don't think the Suns, in, it's, I don't think it's just a facilitator. I think mm. the Suns need a whole fucking lot. Because I look at Devin Book, he's a two. When I see him play, I look, it looks like he always has the ball in his hand. Because like they wanted, they because wanted to make him exactly. Yep. Because exactly. they because That's they couldn't though. find a fucking point guard. Mm-hmm. But he also mm-hmm. played with pass first point guards. He he right. played with Delford Payton. He's played with pass first point guards. I don't think it's just facilitator. I think the Suns just need a lot more. Indeed. All right. It's fair um, all it's right. Fair. So I know we're almost running out of time. Yeah, more series. Hey man, you want to talk? About, you want to talk about Melo? We got to talk about Melo. Let's get this. Let's do Melo appreciation. Where's your clapping? I love that. I'm stealing that. I'm gonna use it on the beat. I make beats too. Anyway, we need to <laughs> imagine you about Yo. to hear some shit. And then, and then the beat drops. And the beat drops. Oh, you put an 808 on that hoe? That shit gonna go. Hell yeah. You put an 808 on that thing? That thing is gonna sing. Let me tell you. Let's have a mellow conversation, man. Real I love talk. Mello. Let's start I love here. Because Let, I don't want to talk about the things you already know and people have already discussed, yep. right? Let's spice up the convo. Okay. How long y'all think Melo got in the league left? At this rate. And if then he I stays where he's if he stays where he's at, he could play three more years. He could play three more yeah, years. Yeah, I got yeah, mm-hmm. two or three. Bro, yeah. He's still really fucking good at mm-hmm. basketball, son. And if he continues the streak, people are gonna want him on his team because now he's rewriting the narrative on him. We gotta stop falling the hype as, as sport fans. I almost fought, fell into that hype. When they tried to tell me that Carmelo Anthony couldn't play basketball anymore. Oh, I thought you were about I, to I, I Yo, thought I thought you were going, about to tell me I was dead. I thought you were about to be out of the league. Come on, I'm a potter. We was going to. That's all I'm saying. You got to be like, wait. Okay. Okay. Let's bring it back. Y'all ever see training day with Denzel? He's just like, whoo. My chest, baby. Yeah, right. Exactly. Go ahead, go ahead, though. But, you know. I really wanted to come and talk to y'all about it because, again, I haven't gotten a chance to kind of give him his flowers on that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, why do you think, and I think I think the way the NBA game is molded kind of uh, uh, mimics the way fans think. Let me explain, right? Mm-hmm. When, you, when you have a favorite team, right, and you're like, damn, bro, we know there's players on here that are not getting enough time, not getting enough minutes. Why am I not seeing them enough? Mm-hmm. A lot of the times what we don't understand as natural fans is that, yo, a lot of this shit is rotation-based. Mm-hmm. A lot of this shit is niggas earning their spot. Niggas don't know the game, though. A lot mm-hmm. of this shit is, is yeah. a lot of backdoor shit. Mm-hmm. Yo, uh, uh, um, so-and-so left the hotel at 12 a.m. last mm-hmm. night, so he ain't, he ain't played 20 minutes today. There's a lot of that shit going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But... As a fan, it's important to pay attention to what somebody could still do. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I, I'm thankful that the Lord Almighty didn't take my, my full mind <laughs> and made me think that Carmelo Anthony couldn't ball no more because I think the Trailblazers are like a piece away from winning the chip. I don't even think they're a piece away. I, yo. When they're healthy. When they're healthy. Yeah, oh, they I'm could. Sorry, when they are, and you know what? I say a piece because I don't, I don't fully believe in their bench depth. Mm. I want one more. I want one if you, more. You know if you what? give him a Lou Will, if you give him a Lou Will, not even a Lou Will, you just need a good glue guy. Like, mm. you know, because you, are, cause you already, because I give think me a Jerry and Grant. Yeah, I would, I would love Jerry and Grant. Give me a Grant. I need him. I need him. Yeah, because yeah. Jerry's tough. Still give Jeremy's you twenty three a game. I think, I, honestly, the Blazers, the Blazers team on paper is championship ready. I think <laughs> the Blazers I, are the Yankees. That's a whole different conversation. Because <laughs> I'm, I am, I am so stressed about Bro. the team on Justin's hat right now. But just staying on, staying, staying, staying on topic, staying on Carmelo. Yeah. We've seen, like, all right, Melo. I'm not gonna say he's always been inconsistent, but like, he'll there will be a game where he shoots bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's a volume score. He's, he's a volume score. That's, yeah. that, that's that's typically what happens. 100%. But I think you see in the bubble what he was doing. There was games when he has 27 points. There's games where he hit clutch threes. You know what I'm saying? And I think that this has exposed it more so now. Like he sl- like he slimmed down, get- cut that weight. And I'm saying as a third option, he's a viable third option mm-hmm. on anybody's team. He'd be a viable. Now I'm not saying a second option. Remember, this team is missing Rodney Hood as well. Still Rodney missing, Hood, still still Trevor Reza, mm-hmm. Trev- Zach, Zach Collins also Zach Collins wasn't playing. That was a huge loss. That yeah, was a that huge was yeah, loss. Yeah, 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 I'm right. saying a fully healthy team with the starting five they have with Nurkic, Dame, CJ, Melo, Zach Collins. Bro, with bench depth, they're championship ready. Mm-hmm. 
Him and Anthony, I expect Anthony, Anthony Simons to make yep. that jump. I really like his game. Yeah. I like Wenyan Gabriel and, too. I'm about mm-hmm. to say every, Anthony Simons. You had Gary Trent, who was I don't. I, yeah, he, he, he kind of he, he peaked off at the yeah. at, near, near at the, the end. worst time. Yeah. He he leveled. Hey man, you can't right. expect. So I mean, but this thing, no, he was shooting. He was shooting. Listen, bro, life is all about law of averages. I know. You can't con- <laughs> continue to expect him to hit sixty percent from three. Hey, like man. who we think he is, Fred Van Fleet? Like you saying? Like and he was the one who had to guard. He was the one playing the most defense, so he was tired at that point. I'm about to say my man was. My man's was overworked, and when he was at Duke, Coach K wasn't even working him that hard, dog. Like I'm saying, it's, di- it's, di- it's different, bro. Yeah. Law of averages really catches up to you. But all I'm saying is that when it comes to Carmelo, like we see that he could contribute on a playoff team and a team that's trying to work towards getting to the playoffs. He so wants to stay there too. Yeah, right. yeah, which is good. He's in a great situation. Damn, Why man. would you want to leave? Yeah. Damn. Was it was You're a little open. bit hoping? I was a little bit hoping he'd come to uh, Brooklyn next Shut year. Shut up. Wait, what'd you no. say? Why are you mad? You sound why like are you me. angry over there? You, you, you sound like me. Mad? Everyone's you, a good you, fit for the Nets. You, 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 you sound like me. You, you want to hear why I'm mad? Because nah, bro, I'm tired of the naysayers. I've always been fucking tired. Yeah, nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Because you know what? Melo gave his heart to New York, and niggas still shitting on him. Get like, for, bro, like, yo, how many niggas mm-hmm. actively took the role of wanting to bring the Knicks a championship? Nobody. And Melo stayed. Yo. He had a chance to leave, and he stayed. And the nerve that's, of them to hear to for me to hear in the news that they want him back in the offseason. That's a fact. Now let me now 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 and that's a, and that's a bullshit. We don't deserve Carmelo, bro. Big fact. The, the, we do not deserve. We do not deserve this man. And I love Melo. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, you the guys don't. That's yeah. exactly why he wouldn't be going to New York. I want him to go to Brooklyn. <laughs> You're petty. <laughs> You're petty. But he's staying in Portland. And honestly, he's and I don't want to and I don't want to give Stephen A. no no airtime because he's been on some weird shit lately. Bro. But. Yeah. but yeah. Like he's been he's been jacking that mellow. Like there's no reason why he shouldn't be on an NBA team. Like why he can't contribute. I'm talking from the rebounding to the defense. I'm I'm like you're looking at this guy he's like, busting his ass in yes. every aspect you're looking of the at game this right guy now. Like is this nigga in his twenties again? <laughs> and you know you want to know why you want to know why people had that because we saw the introduction of advanced analytics, mm. the basketball nerds, the conversation I wanted to have, and you saw the. Well, law of averages says you have a better chance either threes or twos. And Melo feasts in the mid range, and people are like, "Ah, eh, well, the mid range, you know, does it's not a not a viable option on offense." They tried to tell me because he was on the Rockets, it wouldn't work because they like to shoot. Like Melo can't shoot. Shit, me. Why it didn't work on the Rockets is because D'Antoni isn't as good to coach everyone's teams, but Thank you know. You. That's what people want to talk about. But that's the conversation for a whole other day. I really be coming for coaches next, but I, I haven't missed once. So D'Antoni in Indiana next year? How miss much that <laughs> I don't miss. That's it. <laughs> How I'm much out here did? like Fred Van Fleet. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You Brad. think coaches listen to their coaches like for majority of the part of their play as they're playing? Coaches, like, uh, the wait, coaches listen. Oh, superstars. Superstars, superstars like, listen to their coaches? Superstars. No. What do you think the average is? I feel, like the only, <laughs> I feel like the only ones who do. Was Tim Duncan on the Spurs? Well, no, I think I think it goes to the relationship. Yeah, of like the relationship of a superstar has with. But are you going to sit I'm here and I'm tell sure. me James Harden is running a Mike D'Antoni offense? Like you said, James Harden is. I'm gonna stand here today. I'll give me the ball and I'm gonna go do something. That's not a Mike D'Antoni offense. But Mike D'Antoni probably know he can't really tell yeah, people what to do. Exactly. You know, like it's like Harden is literally like like all right. You've played at the park. There's always a nigga that's there that no, that plays no defense. You tell that nigga to do something, he dead ass won't do it. <coughs> but he could, but he could score though. <laughs> I'm about to say, James played. James, wow. yeah, James, you played at defense? Uh, no, nah, James. Our fourth, <laughs> our fourth. Listen, I'm not. Listen, whatever. James, but I, I'll play defense when I want. James, first of all, James. That doesn't help us, James. James, James we're already James down by five. It's a 12 go, point game. I'll die in the hill that says, James, the greatest shooter that ever came out of Pierce McGonagall. <laughs> nah, I'm about I, to say, nah. you want to talk about a wreck legend? This bro, nigga, bro. James, ain't missed. Nigga bro. was, yo, I, when I tell you, it was hell. When I, before we were all friends, it was hell guarding James because I'd never James played against somebody anyway. that would pull from Steph range. James would come down, pull from Steph range, make it, and I'm like, "Who guarded him? Who Who's guarded him? him? Who guarded him? You? Who? Not me? Not me. We switching? We switching? That's you a fact. What he doing over That's there? the most embarrassing <laughs> shit at the park when niggas like, nah, switch, switch, switch. I'm like, damn, <laughs> damn. son, yo, I'm ass. <laughs> yo, that's, you that's think humbling. I can't guard him? <laughs> yeah, right. It's it's humbling because you fuck. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. Let me get another play. <laughs> Nah, uh, one more. One more. <laughs> one you gotta slap the floor real quick. Yeah, but yeah, but now it's it it, it, it yeah. s- seriously though. It I don't think superstars doesn't coach like that. Yeah. I, I think Steph listen to Steph listen to Kerr. Steve Kerr's not coaching. 
<laughs> it's just, it just it just runs itself. Tell me about the offense, Steve Kerr. Uh, it just runs itself. Chill, just tell me about the offense, Chill. Steve Kerr. Go ahead, tell me. Chill. Explain to me the Steve Kerr offense, uh, please. Want, it's, please. Want, pick up it's it's a bunch of elevator screens. They don't even have practice. <laughs> no. What offense are they, they running? He just run the ball. He just roll the ball out there. Like all right, you guys go, do yo, what Steph, you do. When you don't have the ball, we're gonna set you mad screens. <laughs> you should get open off of one of them. Before I get out of here, projections <laughs> for the Warriors next year. Top, top four seed. 50, yeah. plus, 50 plus wins. Yeah. 50 plus wins. I, st- they, I, think they trade, I think they trade the pick. I was about to say that. Right. What do you think I think they, they trade the pick, the pick right? for a solid, for like a really good player and some like other picks. Mm-hmm. I don't think they need a number two pick. And they I think just they rock could, out. I think they could use Julius Randle. Stop it. <laughs> now stop it. All right. Stop it. <laughs> Him and Draymond go hate each other. <laughs> Bro, Julius uh, Randle gonna take that first. Man. He's gonna take listen, that listen. first. ISO spin in the paint. Listen. He's on the next plane out of there. Listen, dogs. I, yeah, not, like D'Lo. I, I promise you, I'm not one. I'm not one. Of, I'm not one of those. That's exactly what happened. Just, just like be, D'Lo. I just be trolling. I just be. I just be trolling. All right, real quick, you know, because you gotta get. You gotta get oh, out of yeah. here. Just real, because you know we've been talking about NBA, but like. Right. So the whole like pause and shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah, think, that's what I wanted to hit on. Yeah, yeah I'm about yeah. to say. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy how like at, right after we record, like some some crazy ass news mm-hmm. break, like some crazy ass shit's gonna break like right after we leave here. Like clockwork, like, always. Yeah, it's, <laughs> always. Wow, but like, what are you? What what was your whole thoughts and reaction to that? Mm. Um, the pause. Uh, I, I was a bit taken back to be honest with you when I first heard of the news, right? Because mm-hmm. when you hear about they're trying to make a, a social stance, right? You're already looking at Kyrie like, yo, bro, sorry they was clowning you, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I thought they were kind of going to take maybe, I, as a fan, I'm going to be honest with you, I thought it was going to be a few weeks. Mm. You know, I, I thought, you know, maybe they would have tr- tried to pause the bubble. Shit, Mavs might have won. Mavs might John, won. shut up. Sorry. No, nah, he on some shit. I'm with him. I told you, I'm the bandwagon. You know what I'm, I'm, I'm whatever it's you right. say, it's I'm right. with y'all ain't, y'all ain't, they ain't win yet, so you're not technically on the bandwagon, so okay. you good, you good. So I'm good. They still losing. I'm a fan. Yeah, that's, okay. yeah. that's Makes it. Okay, makes sense. That's makes it. sense. I like that. That's, that's good. It. I like that's y'all. It. It's a win-win right now. <laughs> All right, man. I like All the way I right. think. So thought it was going to take a couple weeks. Yeah, I thought it was going to take a couple weeks. Um... I, I, now I understand that they made some actual social initiatives behind it, mm-hmm. which made it change. But I'm going to be honest with you. I still don't know how I feel about that shit. Because it feels like they dressed it really quickly and they let it go. But at the same token, I'm going to be honest with you. It's like, when you forget about money. When you start thinking about a bubble now, do you break the bubble? Mm-hmm. It's like you, you've already taken this amount of games in for that long. And you've done all the precautionary measures. What's the point? So I get why they kind of resume in the same sense. Um, my thing is... um. I do think I saw something that was like them doing this during the playoffs is way more powerful of a statement than them just not continuing the season. Right. I absolutely get that. Right. But um, it's just like, it's more difficult with the NBA because it's such a progressive league mm. that literally people are like, I understand. Like them feeling that way, I completely get it. I'm like it totally makes sense. But it's like, how much more can they do? Which is the difficult question. And that's the difficult part of it because they're like, I remember seeing something where they're like, completely back the movement completely back what they're standing for but it's like NBA owners already pledged so much stuff like what is it what are the tangible things that they can do in trying to figure that out and I feel like we them resuming they said they they made initiatives but do we know it yet yeah, and well, that's the one thing where it's like I definitely want to hear what comes out of it because you expect good things to come out of it it's the NBA it's people yeah. they're the only ones really taking that stand which is amazing right. but it's like you gotta wait to see the tangible things because if you don't see the tangible things I hate to say it, but it seems performative. Exactly. Well, yeah. It's for nothing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what this whole, I mean, and I had said this from the jump, you know, before um, when I wrote my article that we knew exactly what the NBA was going to do. Black Lives Matter on the court, Black Lives Matter on the apparel, right. but nothing else is really going to come of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we've seen, I think if one thing that did come out of them stopping, uh, putting the pressure on the team owners mm-hmm. to turn facilities and arenas into voting places, which honestly, yeah, I don't think Honestly, yeah. <laughs> shout out to everybody. He did something good. Come on. He said, but the Knicks was involved, so I got to shout. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, hey, okay. you know, they don't what get a lot to Jay, rejoice for. Jay, so. Jay, all right, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James, James Dolan didn't mess up this time. All okay. right, I'm about to say, for yeah. the first time for the in first, forever, we're yeah, in the Frozen. I don't think All James like, Dolan did it. Yeah, it was, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I think Steve Stout has something to do with it. McGraw right. Hill might have did it. But, uh, McGraw Hill? Yeah. But, uh, in, in World Wide West. Oh, boy. All right. But no, you saw, like, all right, so now the voting, uh, the arenas are now voting places, right? Yeah. I think the onus, everybody looks at the players, right? And the 
I, I forget what NBA pundit said it, but he's like, oh, the owners already pledged so many millions of dollars to these things. What more can they do? And for me, it's like they can do a lot because these NBA owners are running circles that are right next to the politicians, mm -hmm. the governors, the senators. And act. the advertisers. Exactly. They These are the people <laughs> that run the country. The It's a capitalist society. These guys are at the top 1% worth billions. They're at the country clubs, the dinners, the galas, with all these high-ranking officials that Indeed. put the policies in place for these communities and things like that. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that can move the needle. The players can get on Instagram Live, do whatever they, you know, interviews, no matter, and tell you the importance of voting, the important, you know, tell you all the things that are negatively affecting the community. They only have so much, and they can only donate so much, but the real power comes with these high-ranking, mostly white governors, mm -hmm. right, <laughs> that know the senators, the governors, that could be like, yo, you know, Brad, yeah. let's get District Seven Twenty Seven. Let's get the let's get the schools more more textbooks. We need more air conditioners in these. Let's defund the police and let's, put let's, that money let's, into let's the let's community. Put, exactly. Let's let's take maybe take away the armored tank that mm -hmm. the precinct has and get more school buses for the for the kids. You know, what? get more learning centers, get more art supplies mm -hmm. for the teachers. Things like that's how you move the needle. That's what the owners can do. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I think. Um. All right. Um. Them coming back and. I do. I will say that they got a lot out of the statement that they that came out in a relatively short time, and I think that is like drastic change. And I'm a big person that always says that like yo, change is a very slow thing and it's a slow operative. But I think it's bullshit that they came back. I'm I, I, I'm gonna call it like how I call it. Like yeah. you spoke you spoke about it real quick about Kyrie and like basically what he was saying about like sitting out for social justice and like all all of this thing and it's like shout out Maya Moore like in the WNBA who also was saying like oh I'm sitting out because this this and this she's been doing it for years and, and she's been, been on and, and she's, in her and she, time and mm -hmm. she's been on that wave because she sees the bigger picture I feel like that narrative isn't spoken about enough mm -hmm. I think that like the only way for real change to come about is to take money out of these niggas pockets you know that's mm -hmm. that's that's what it is and as a sports fan it pains me to say like yo like I like to go without basketball right now, but this is bigger than certain things are more important. Uh, certain, mm -hmm. certain, th certain things is more important. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, like, even with the whole George Floyd shit that happened before, I, was, I think the reason why that was like as big as what it was is because there was no sports to go that was going mm -hmm. on right now. Mm -hmm. And I do appreciate like other leagues like the NHL, the MLB that, you know, after the fact, you know, they, they, they sat out for a day, like in, you know, whatever the fuck they were trying to do. Mm -hmm. But I think the only way, that like they like they had the NBA had the perfect opportunity to be like nah this shit is a dub and I think that would have been a much more like you can you can put that shit on Wikipedia you know what I'm saying like 2020 NBA season oh it ended because of social justice because of this I think that's mm. like the when you look back on shit like that you be like damn like yo they really was on some hero shit yeah. and it's not just you know one person doing it it's a whole lot of people doing it you but you saying? need but you need the collective and, and I think what that's what's the key what's hurting it is. Or what what makes guys maybe shy away from doing it and just ending the season because you have a lot of guys that aren't as well off as like a LeBron or Russell Westbrook, mm -hmm. or Kevin Durant, uh, James Harden, who already have their their money for generations, right? right. But the guys at the end of the bench, right, mm -hmm. like a Norman Powell or like a Chris Chioza, you know, guys that are need these contracts and like that. The collective would be yes, take the money out of the owners' pockets, but the money also needs to go to the players. And I think as players, they could kind of. Like you said, pay those the superstars. The superstars help pay for the the guys, just That's like how uh, before, David bro. Price paid for all the the Dodgers yeah. minor leaguers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how yeah. Kyrie paid for all the WNBA uh, WNBA players that yeah. didn't go to the bubble. Yeah. It needs to be unity on all fronts. All fronts for it, right. you know, like yes, the CBA restructuring could be scary down the road. We get to that when we get to that. Yeah. But as long as you're helping your brother out and making sure everybody's fed, mm -hmm. then hey, at screw the, the governors, screw at the owners. The end of the day, the the players. No, no, the, the the governors need the players more than the players need the owners because at the end of the day, we can create our own shit and say fuck the NBA. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. Drew League shit, right? right. Yeah, that's right? yeah, right. Exactly. And people would pay the fuck to right. watch that. Right, so, right. Come on. That's, it's not gonna happen. But at the end of the day, it's like yo, we gotta realize like yo, if they all was just like nah, fuck this shit, and they all just left the bubble. Like they would have, the NBA would have been asked out. They would be fucking panicking like, ah shit, how can we help? How can yeah. we help? How you can we do this? You can't put replacements in the NBA like you can in the NFL. Right. Yeah, but right. even so, it's still not gonna. It's not gonna sell like that. Mm -hmm. But you know what though, too, I feel like you know the, the players have to understand that it's bigger than basketball. Yeah, you know, yeah, I they gotta like, buy into it. You know what I'm saying, uh, John? I think that's a big reason. I feel like, don't get me wrong, I feel like a majority of them are like halfway in, halfway out, mm -hmm. halfway out because I'm a black individual and I've I've, I've uh, suffered, you know, social injustices, etc. Mm -hmm. But when you really live it, you you become Kyrie. 
Mm-hmm. When you become Kyrie, that is where your mindset re- relays. And you know what? R- Kyrie kind of strikes me as one of those individuals who's he's okay with life. Mm-hmm. He's content with life, and that's what that's important to to, to have as mm-hmm. an individual, and most importantly as a person that plays sports because sports ends. Mm-hmm. Right? You hear Mike Tyson talk all the time. Oh man, I got th- th- that fight. I want that. I want that feeling back. Look, he's fighting again at sixty. Yeah. I thought by now he would have had enough peace to understand, like, yo, the certain things in life I have to own mm-hmm. up with and understand uh, that would make me a better person. Mm-hmm. I respect Kyrie for that because as a person first, you understand the magnitude of what this really means. He said he'd give it all up, just like John Boyega. So he give it all up. It a lot up. of those NBA players can't say that. Yeah. And again, right. listen, who am I to say? Because I've never been in their position. But right. once you really say, if you say it's important, you got to act like it's important. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's like, I don't, I don't know. It's just my, my whole thing is like them, like, Here's the thing. If they were going to do this, and I mean, granted, they did get shit done. So right. I'm not mm-hmm. here to take away from that. Right. But I feel like if they were going to sit out, they might as well. Like, it's, for me, it's all or nothing. Yeah. That's, that's, all, mm-hmm. that's, all, that's mm-hmm. all I'm saying. So, yeah. No, yeah. I get that. And yeah, these guys got to realize that as important as they are, as big as they are, right? Yeah, they're yeah. still black before they're a basketball exactly. player. I mean, we saw it. Perfect example is yeah. Sterling yeah, like Brown, Brown yeah. getting tased mm-hmm. in a parking lot, mm-hmm. like six cops around him, in the state he plays basketball Come in. On. Come on, mm-hmm. like, yeah. no, uh, right. what do you call? Um, who was it that used to play on the Blazers? Um, he just put out a, like an Instagram story that said, oh. "Oh, not West Matthews." Damn, I'm, I'm blanking on it right now. But he was right. he was a, he was a key contributor for them, um, wing player. But he said, "Yeah, on the way to one of the playoff games, mm-hmm. he was with his nephew and his son, mm-hmm. and he's driving them to it. He gets pulled over, and cop is mad, rude to him, things like that, blah blah." Uh, oh, is this your car? Blah, blah. He looks at the license plate, sees it's the basketball player. He's like, oh, didn't know it was you. Sorry, we had a lot of thefts in the area. Go get him tonight. Hey, so like if he do, if he wasn't <laughs> the basketball player that was going to go play a basketball oh, game in two play. hours, yeah. what would have happened in that situation? Right. Hey, man, this is a great conversation that I hate to cut short, but I know you got to run. I know, I know. Uh, you want to plug plug what you got to plug? Tell them where you, yeah. they can find you. Um, First and foremost, I want to thank y'all, man, before I even plug my shit. Hey, man, thank, thank you for coming, man. Dude, come okay. on, bro. John's been, been my day one. I've been wanting to do this. So thank y'all for hey, allowing man. me in y'all space. Um, y'all can find me at Bold Till We Fall. Bold, T-I-L-L, We Fall. That's on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, you can listen, keep up with my podcast too. We, uh, I like it. <laughs> you, got, you got to come tune in to see what we talk about, but I like it. That's uh, at Need to Know Pod, Need to Know Pod um, on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, that's my handles. Hey, man. Yeah. Great to have you here. I mean, shit, we definitely going to do this again. Yeah, we have, we have some yeah, great yeah, conversations. Yeah. Definitely, today, man. De- definitely. All right. Thank y'all. So big thank you to Alex once again for showing up, hanging out with us. And um I mean yeah, we covered basketball. We had some great conversation. It was definitely uh definitely a good time. It was fun. We had a lot of laughs. I like yeah. I, I like, like I, laughing. Yeah, you know, it's always a good day when you laugh a little bit, cry a little bit. Cried? I mean, tis I, I don't know. Baby. I'm sorry. All right. You know, yeah. I just you know, it's been it's been a long journey. Um, you know, I just I had to have had to have a warrior spirit, you know. I feel you. You guys aren't yeah. getting anything. No, I get it. No, it's from the music video. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fine. I guess it's and I'm going to look at you like, like, like Drewski. <laughs> Not like Drewski. <laughs> I'm Baby. <dead. laughs> nah, big, fa- yeah, big facts and big thanks to Alex. But this is a very, very, very well versed in sports, y'all. Fu- I was fucking with it, man. Yeah, he's, man. Very, he's very passionate about basketball. Alex is passionate about things in general. Like he's, yeah. he's, he's an energy person, man. That's good. So it's always yeah. nice to have people Listen, around. Listen, I like high energy people because I got a lot of energy. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's, a, that's a very yeah, good man. thing. I honestly, look, I'm not going to say nothing, but I hope that at some point he, one of us comes with the take that causes us to get into a full argument with him here, because that'll be fun as shit. Argue, arguing can be fun. You but know, see, I mean, pro- it's fun see, for the But people that's not the involved. problem when you when when the the problem is you have too many rational people on this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes it doesn't you, work. <laughs> sometimes you need a keys to pull up and like you know. Facts. Oh, if we have Alex and Keys, it'll be a... They got to sit, oh, like, like yeah. they got to sit on the outside of me and Justin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just in case shit get weird in here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I can hold any of them back. I'm a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not Keys. Yeah, right. Indeed. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we definitely had that good sports talk, a lot of basketball stuff. But, um, I mean, the other... I mean, really, the only other sports news for us right now, at least, is just, like, the fuck is good with the Yankees? Those damn carpetbaggers that playing in the Bronx. We did make it past the trade deadline, keeping Clint Frazier though. So that's a good. I mean, we can't afford to trade him. Yeah, hey, who's who, who else is gonna hit? Good. We don't got it. We, we don't got, got. We got two people that can on the team right now: Clint Frazier and Luke, Luke Voigt. Voigt. Yeah, right. Basically, and then DJ just came back. 
I mean, you just came back, but then we lose uh, Hicks again. How we get hurt every single year, this man Aaron Hicks hurt. Nah, they showed they showed the graphic yesterday when I was watching the game. Yesterday being when we lost to the to the race five three. Um, mm-hmm. with Garrett Cole on the mound. That's tough. He the past, he's yeah. had a past yeah. rough two starts. Yankees yo. fans are the worst. Crazy. I hate it here because Garrett Cole for the first five starts Money. was really good. Money. Money. What we paid for, he has. I would say that the Brave start wasn't bad because he only gave up three runs. Mm. Um, it was just and it was just a two home. Was, run. He's home created runs. a high bar for himself. Yeah. yeah, but it's like all right, he's subpar game in you. yeah, subpar game in, in Atlanta. Bad game. Everybody's warranted a bad game. Which yeah. like, now it's like oh. This isn't what we paid for it, bro. It's one bad game. You gotta think about it, especially if this was a full season. It's like, bro, there's like, like fucking exactly. Too he makes many thirty, what, thirty two starts a season. Yeah, you're bound to have one bad game or a few. I mean, it's a thing. It's like, like I give you four. He's a thirty two. He's, 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 he's a he's a he's a Cy Young caliber player. At the end of the day, it's just like, yo, listen, he's not gonna he's not gonna be perfect. It's a, it, life is all about the everybody law of averages. Days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody has his days. Every good has its bad. But Every rose has its thorn. You know, where to poison. Nah, but honestly, I think the Yankees' biggest problem right now is that we can't we can't hit. Like we we're not we don't have hit production coming from anywhere. Fucking Tyler Wade, Tyro Estrada, you know what I'm Mike saying? Mike Talkman. Mike Talkman. Like, these are dudes that are like they're role players. You know, we don't have we literally where where we are gonna go as far as Aaron Judge, Glaber Torres, Stanton. We're playing with a bunch of Geo Shellas from two years ago. Yeah, basically. And and that's a fact. But the one good thing that came out of the past couple of days, and I've been saying it, and I'm so fucking happy that it happened, Debbie Garcia. Yeah, he great, he, well, he he was the he, them. he was money. He, six 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 innings, one run, none no earned. earned, none earned, none earned, oh, yeah. none earned, none earned. My boy was out. My boy was out there shining, and I hope that when he gets brought back up, he gets he's here to stay because, in addition to not being able to hit, I think. Pitching has also been a little Rocky. bit inconsistent. A little mm-hmm. bit inconsistent, right? Exactly. I mean, especially the bullpen. So James um, Paxton's mid. J Hap is ass. Well, Hap had a really good start. He had last. one. No, I'll give him credit on that oh, one. But yeah. just like Doc Rivers and Billy Donovan, <laughs> let me see some motherfucking consistency. And that's all I'm saying, bro. Is law of averages. You know what I'm saying if you that bad for the first three starts of the season, Every you know you, you, you got you you gotta you gotta give us one. And I and I'm happy that he gave us he gave us what he what gave is it, us a on, broke sa- clock, on Saturday. Night. A broke clock is right twice what, a day. Yes, yeah, it, yeah, it is indeed, indeed, Jonathan. But yeah, I mean, we passed the midway point of the season, and somebody said a funny thing to me: us winning 108 or seven games last year, we started 17 and 13 last well, year. I, me- I remember how how poor of a start that was, and people were like, "We're coming yeah. at Boone's head," like, "Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, end up with 100." It, it, it's crazy. It's crazy how, as a Yankee fan, our expectations are like through the roof. It's just like, mm-hmm. oh. Got to be in the playoffs. We at least got to make it to the ALC as good. But that's what happens when you're a fan of a winning organization. Mm-hmm. The 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 bar is just is just here because other because Met fans be looking at us like wow like y'all y'all are Ungrateful. y'all are y'all, yeah. y'all are bad right now at seventeen and mm-hmm. or nineteen and thirteen. You know what I'm saying, but it's like at the same time, it's like you got you definitely don't want to come close to repeating what happened last season because if you look at it last season, it was like a fluke with all the step ups that we had. People yeah, the next man up fucking yeah. work. Well, yeah, and it's not fair to it's not sustainable to be and, and to be honest, it's not fair to guys like Tyler Wade and and Estrada to be like, yo, y'all got to come through because that's not that's their not their role. role. Yeah. Like not, they were never supposed to be from Tyler Wade, but yeah. you know they're they're guys that are like, all right, when Stan, when the Stantons and the uh, judges need a day off, all right, we throw them in the lineup, you yeah. know. Yep. When Glaber needs a day off, all right, throw a shot in the line. Tyler Wade's playing and, every day. And, like, this, and and what hurts the most is that if we 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 should have paid Didi, and it, and I get it because a healthy Yankees team is like, yo, where would he? Where where would you have put him? But now a, a left hand a left handed bat who is really great defensively would been would have been nice. Yeah, Best but I mean, but you're not gonna pay. What do you get with the fourteen million? You're That's, not gonna pay fourteen mil for a bench player. Though. Aaron Aaron Hicks is getting ten. Aaron, Aaron, Hicks, Aaron Hicks, but Aaron like Hicks healthy is an everyday right? guy. Yeah, yeah, but he, but, I don't know, man. Just the way that he's been hurt and his injury history, even even when he was on the Twins, is just not. I don't know, yo. Yeah, and no, I get I it. And I get it. You're not gonna pay 14 mil for a bench player, but think about it. Like, how many game? I I think combined, Judge Stanton, Glaber has never been hurt like this. He's never before, been. Though. He's never been hurt, and he's on and he's on the way back. So I'm not not really worried. But they've definitely missed more than they've played in the mm-hmm. past couple seasons. Yeah. Which is concerning, 
Cause it's yeah. getting to the point where we may have to we we gonna have to make a choice. Nah, speak speak of what you was you was out here. You was, I was ready. mad. I was you mad. was you was on your full Knicks fan. You was I, ready to burn it all down. I was mad. Was I was mad. I was mad. Listen, <laughs> as just, uh, Andrew Schultz said, bring the flood. <laughs> <laughs> all I was saying, basically, what I was saying is that like it's gonna come to a point where we either gonna have to pay this man Aaron Judge, we gonna have to let him walk, and I'm at the point now where I think if we get a good trade offer. I, I I might listen to it. I would only take Mookie. I would That's I would I would, I would I would listen That's to not it. Not gonna happen. I would listen to it, and it just depends because the way like the injuries that he be getting is just not like it. It doesn't make sense. My man had a calf strain. A couple of days later, he's like, "Yo, I'm 100. percent I can play." Plays one game, gets taken out in the sixth inning. Oh, he's gonna be on the aisle for double the time. That Bro, he they was. went. We're gonna start his rehab over because we don't think we did it right the first time. And it's just what what the fuck is going on with their with their training staff that they're fucking up this bad? The fact that I'm they gonna... they retooled that they got a new training staff from last year because they fired everybody from last year, yeah. brought in a whole new group of guys, and they yep. do have a like like I said, very well respected strength and conditioning coach. So at this point, it might just be the PT AT staff right now. What the fuck going on with that rehab I, part? I don't know. Maybe his body's just not built to. Uh, it could be. It, to... Hey, that might be. He might be Tracy McGrady to this shit. Cause he gets the same, basically the same, and if it's not the calf, it's the what oblique, mm-hmm. whatever. So well, I well the one thing we know that the the cracked rib and all that shit that's a that's a that was from a dive, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, like from that's a, a yeah. that's an accident. It's a freak. It's yeah, a freak. It's a freak injury. It's the it's like you said. It's those strains and those leg stuff, especially for someone that big. That's what worries you a bit. Well, that's the thing. Like you, uh, an injury like that, like the ribs, but he generates so much power through that area that do that area of the body that it's like even when it heals well, you're still you're still putting even when it's not bones, hurting anymore bones, you're still putting, bones heal stronger though but you're still putting that that stress on it though yeah. that that added stress for somebody that's like you know six eight seven, seven. Oh, oh, geez, fucking, just a big guy yeah, he's, but i mean yankees will be okay mm-hmm. i don't think that uh the mets were movers yeah were they movers though oh well they made they made movers. they made a, just because you make a trade doesn't mean you're movers they made two all right, what, what, all right, who'd they get? They, they, had got, fun, um, they got Todd Frazier back. Mm-hmm. Oh. They got... Yeah, right. Tom's River. Todd Frazier. Um, I, and some outfielder. They got some They got some outfielder, and then they got... Oh, the biggest one they got is that they got the dude from um, Baltimore. They got a catcher, too. Yeah, backup catcher from the from the Rangers. Mm. And so Todd Frazier, a backup catcher, this in is a, in a in a pitcher in a, in a relief pitcher with a four point oh five ERA. He's a relief pitcher from the um from the from the Orioles. I can't think of his name, but I mean shit. That's yeah, that's they traded, they they traded a relief pitcher. Just trading a live arm. So they out there just trading to trade. That might be. <laughs> um, I, you know, sorry, one of the things that worried me coming into the deadline is um obviously because of Mavs Twitter. Like I have a lot of like Rangers fans and mm-hmm. stuff, and uh, one of them he was like a writer and he was like uh he was like. I wonder if, because they were linked to Lance Lynn, like the Yankees were linked to Lance Lynn, and they were, he was like, yo, I want, he was like, if they make this trade, because Lynn has more value before, mm-hmm. like now than before, he's like, I want fucking, he's like, give me Debbie and Clint Frazier for Lynn and Gallo. Joey Gallo. And I was like, dub. that's, a, that's I was sitting here, man. and I was like, no. And he was like, he was like, I know you Yankee fans are out here, like, that's way too high. But I asked him, Bryce, he's like, but if I'm the Rangers, I hold all the chips. And he was like, plus, I could sit here and be like, Fuck it, I'm gonna go trade him to the Rays that have a really good farm system too. Dog, fuck that. I'm happy Cashman didn't trade it with anybody. Me too. Because because it's always a Yankees tax, bro. Like we always gotta trade Matt. Like anytime, like they don't crabs in a barrel, bro. They be they tight because we win, so they don't want to make us. You know, they don't want they don't want to just give us bullshit. Basically, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. So yeah, I don't know. They would they I, it's we would have had to pay way too much. I feel like. Unless we're getting like a Mike Trout level player, like I'm, I wouldn't want to give up Debbie or or, or Clint or Clint Frazier. You know what I'm saying so. Yeah, and you know it's it's bad as bad and doom and gloom as it is right now. The Yankees will still make the playoffs. Yeah, like you, it, eight teams make the playoffs this year from 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 the AL and the NL. Like right. it's almost they'd have to literally lose every single game. Yeah, and, that's, and I and I don't see that happening because August is going to be an easy schedule. We we done playing the Rays after thank fucking god. We done playing the Rays after this three game series. So the, September What the fuck are we going to do in the playoffs? Well, I think that's when all right, I think guys Rays. will be guys will be healthy then. And then now you get Garrett Cole, you got playoff Garrett Cole. You got playoff, playoff Tanaka. Tanaka. All right. Let me some Tanaka. We'll see what Monty has cuz I think this will be his first Real Playoff. playoffs, mm-hmm. right? Listen, that's the thing. At full at full strength, our pitching is is really really good. I I will I will die on that hill. 
It's really mm. what's gonna what's gonna be the deciding factor is how we is how we hit. My thing about really really good is outside of Tanaka and Cole, we don't know what what starting pitcher we're gonna get that day. We're that, decent. I, uh, we're we're. I, I, we're I, I, I'm I not think our bullpen. Just talk, I think not, our bullpen really well, good. Well, that's that's part of pitching. I'm not saying yeah. starting pitching. I'm saying yeah. like in total. I think is oh, uh, bullpen is starting shirt up. Yeah, our starting pitching just like I, it takes us so far back, which hurts. Because well, uh, is Britain done for the season? No, he's not. He's coming back. Okay. He's, he just do. He's he's on, he's about to get cleared. He um right, okay. he just threw a bullpen the other day. So Britain Britain is coming back. Chapman need to get his shit together though. I I will say that I've been saying that for 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 a while now. He loved walking the first nigga, and after that it's like you don't know what's about to happen. You know what I'm saying he's one dude like we have to be able to he he. he the way we pay him, we have to be able to rely on Chapman. Bro, I swear he don't be placing the ball. He just be throwing and praying. Mm-hmm. Be like, oh, I'm going to throw 104 and then just, hey, hopefully it hits <laughs> Hopefully it hits the yeah. target. And it brings me to another point. Like when, all right, a weird, weird thing. Zach Britton hasn't played in, I think, two weeks. He's still top five in the league in saves. In eight opportunities, eight saves. Mm-mm-mm. So I think, My son is I'm, nice. listen, I'm not saying, I'm not saying Chapman shouldn't be the closer, but like, if you see how Kevin Cash uses his his relief pitchers, I think the Yankees to a degree got to adopt that ad, adopt that philosophy. Like I don't know, I like it, I I think it's very controversial of me to say that they should do it by committee. But if Brandon is killing, you gotta like yeah. I don't know. But I guess we'll see when they're both available but and how he uses. That's them. also the other side of um sport, just dealing with personalities and shit like that. Because now you mm-hmm. bump Chapman, Chad, like, you pay me this money, da da da, and then he's just like fuck it, like and. Not not sabotage, but he's just out here like I don't want to be yeah, here anymore. Exactly, he exactly, like, and it's like it's a, it's a balancing act. That's the pro. That's a problem when you paying niggas mad money, bro. And you know Chapman about his money, not paying playing in a charity softball game. So. <laughs> hey man, listen, it is what it is. But yeah, hopefully we start winning again, mm-hmm. and yeah, we got to get healthy. That's the bottom line. Anything else on uh, the Yankees? Nope, hell no. I don't want to talk about these niggas. These niggas. <laughs> Good playing, sir. Yes, they played the Rays tonight. I think is the Rays. I thought they finished. No. Nah. Oh wait, no, they just started that they series, just, they right? Just started yeah. the series. I don't know. I know we we got Baltimore coming up though, right? Yeah, we got Baltimore this week. We got doubleheader on Friday. We got the Mets on where? again. Yeah, we it, just one one game. Uh, it's make a makeup up. game. Oh, okay, makeup and then yeah, were we the only? We were the only team that didn't have a protest game. Yeah, we did it because we we were <laughs> off like all last week. And then basically, delays and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Hey man, by the time I'll hear this, that game would have happened. Um, one game seven would have happened. The other one's gonna happen when this comes out. You know, Steinbrenner would have rolled over in his grave if he saw the Yankees protest the game. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely right, <laughs> bro. Oh boy, he would have rolled over. Oh man, Mr. Steinbrenner. But uh, uh, all right, yeah, I guess that's it for baseball. All right, uh, anything else, guys? In general, that's all she wrote. All right, cool. Again, big shout out to Alex for being here. Um, yeah, show you know love, show love. Big facts. Check him out on all his socials. Check out the Need to Know Pod. Um, now we got a new a, a new podcast friend, which is which is yeah. always nice. We like having friends at a pod. Oh, of course, of it's course. Like, it's like adding, it's like JoJo's. We're just adding new stand users to the crew. Yeah. yeah. And um, all right. So who's who? Uh, I'm easily the grandfather. Yeah, for sure, easily. Uh, Miles is 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 Joe Turo. You think Miles is Joe? I was gonna say of course Miles, Miles is, is Abdul. I'll say I'm Abdul yeah. too. Miles, but Miles gets bitches, so I still think Miles is Abdul. Uh, you know, I think Abdul is a better comparison. So who's John? John is Captain. John. I'm who? Yeah, you. Would, yeah, you. Right? Would be, yeah, you would be him. That's mm. that's how I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm still, I'm still Jack and Miles is Joe Turo. Yeah, I mean that, would, that, that'd be my first uh, protagonist. No, comparison. but the thing is, Miles likes the bitches. Joe yeah. Turo don't like the bitches. Oh nah, if I like the, if I like the joints, then I'm definitely the, the new dude, the sore dude. But, but remember, but, remember oh, JP, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember he was taking pictures of them. Yeah, but you Miles isn't chivalrous like like Oddwell though. Yeah. So you know, I'll take you out on a nice dinner first. Yeah. <laughs> That's getting cut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's getting cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so with that, follow us at Saratobi Sports everywhere. And make sure to check out the YouTube channel where we do have everything divvied up for you. Um, always links are in the bio. It's got the link tree set up, so everything's everywhere. Follow us. You know, if you're listening, you want the audio. I know a lot of people going back to work, so hey, let us join you for your commute. We are on every major podcast streaming platform, so wherever y'all listen, you can find us. And uh, yeah, follow me at Offended Narwhal. 
uh, R.I.P. Chadwick. And uh, yeah, guys. Big facts. Rest in peace to the Black Panther. Um, yeah, man. I just hope y'all have a safe week. You know, um, Milwaukee Bucks, Hockey Pucks, Donald Duck. I don't give a fuck. Heating for Black Lives Matter. Wow, it's gonna be hard to top that. Jesus, uh, that was great. So always you can follow me on the tweeters, J underscore Thomas underscore twenty four. Uh, as they said, R.I.P. Chadwick, R.I.P. Uncle Cliff, mm-hmm. Cliff Robinson, uh, R.I.P. John Thompson, R.I.P. Mm-hmm. Big John Thompson with the towel. That's what I forgot. To, I was gonna bring the towel today, throw it over my shoulder, but I forgot. That's it. where Burton gets it from. Uh, but yeah, um, green moose, lava juice, something large fries, chocolate shake. Yeah, whatever that, whatever they said. <laughs> um, <laughs> Justin yeah. was an average kid <laughs> that no one understand. John and Miles and Matthew always giving him commands. Bad JT. <laughs> Doom and gloom up in his room. <laughs> <laughs> Playing train sim. <laughs> oh man, that was nice. I hate it here. We'll catch y'all next week. I got ice in my veins. Walk like a champion, champion, champion I'm so cold-blooded, I fear nobody Ain't no letting down, I won't let you down Cause I got ice in my veins I talk like a champion, like a champion